Should we leave? Don't dismount. You'll ruin the moment. I've wanted to hang out with you for some time now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I fi finally can. Yeah, this is so fun. I want to do this every day. I feel great. I slept standing up last night. Hold your horses. You've had your fun, JP. But if you want to keep galloping with the herd, you'll have to go through the horse rite of passage. The horse course. <gasps> Mackenzie, JP isn't ready for the horse course. It takes weeks of training, and he's only been a horse for one day. I don't even know if Marie has even... Shh. You don't have to do this. The course is hard, even for a stallion like yourself. Those are the rules. But JP can always tuck his ponytail between his legs and go home. That's if he even has a tail. I accept the challenge. Here we are, Kelsey. It's a beautiful day for a horse course. Yes, Craig, but this test ain't no trot in the meadow. The jumps are high, and the stakes are even higher. The horse course starts here. First, you must execute a dainty hop over the small jump, then a trot through the puddle, pay respects to the dignitaries, and finally, clear a totally regulation-sized high jump. Finish the course without failing a jump, and you'll officially be one of us. You have until Melissa finishes drawing a horse with her mouth. So be fast, because she's got it down to a science. I know you can do this, JP. Good luck. Ready, Melissa? Arr! Go! Woohoo! Yeah! Yes, JP! And he's off to a strong start. You know, it's hard to believe he only became a horse yesterday, Craig. Wow, so elegant. So untamed. That was hardly a trot! <laughs> my lord, my lady, my baby. What are all those dots? <laughs> He's entering the home stretch, folks. He's just got to clear the final high jump. Uh, Hurry up, uh, Melissa! Uh, oh! Wow. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 JP, uh. JP, can you get up? No. His horse leg is broken. We have to put him down like in the movies. Melissa, no, not again. Well, he can't be a horse anymore anyway. He lost the course. No, he didn't. Because I... I sabotaged it! <gasps> I just wanted him to fail the course! I didn't think he'd get hurt! <sighs> JP gave everything he could to be a horse like us, and this is how you treat him? I'm sorry, okay? I, I just... You just what? I just... Everyone was having more fun doing horse stuff JP's way. I was worried that if he joined us, he'd change our horse way of life forever. And then... You wouldn't need me anymore. Oh, Mackenzie. Of course we need you. We wouldn't be the horse girls without you. Really? Yeah. I mean, sure, you can be bossy sometimes, but I know it's just because you want to bring out our fullest potential. Manny? Manny, I'm sorry, but I don't think I want to be a horse anymore. But I thought you were having fun as a horse. I thought we were going to be horses together. Well, of course I had fun. I was hanging out with you. But I don't belong in the meadow. My heart's just not as into it as you guys. And let's be honest, you got the best horses right here. Besides, I realize now that I'm neither boy nor horse. I'm a truck. My hooves be wheels. My tail, a tailpipe. My farts, terrible for the ozone layer. But I hope that we can still ride together every once in a while. Of course we can. All right, fellas, it's a long drive home, and I'm gonna need a push. Group nuzzle! <laughs> Don't worry, I always carry a medical kit tucked in my underwear. It's in there somewhere. The vault. Okay, there. Feel better? Not really, no. Of course. The injury is probably internal. These bandages aren't doing anything. <laughs> Whoa. Kickball. The roller kids demolished the fish king three to 10. Not sure why the fish king thought he could beat six kids by himself. Whoa, this kid must have kept score of every game in the creek. What's the latest date? Let's see. 1980. Oh, capture the flag. Ah, I can't feel a fracture anywhere. That's good. 
No! It means you must have broken the bone and it already healed incorrectly. I'm going to have to reset it. I beg your pardon? Don't worry, I have tools. I'll be right back. No, wait! Summer is here, and everyone has taken a side. The Space Cadets, the Roller Kids, the Green Belts, the Herkelton Model Train Society, and the Butterfly Scouts have all formed an alliance. On the opposing side, the Fish King, the Kitty Kids, the Rocket Club, the Hula Heads, and the Fizz Boys, as well as Michael Bart. The game, a winner takes all, capture the flag, war. The kid who controls the flag controls the creek. I can't believe the creek is going to war. And all because of a What have you done to the rhododendron? Move them. That's it! You're gonna get soaked! <gasps> the book! Huh? I'm gonna soak your butt! Huh? Whoa! This must be the unstable treetop village. Aha! Come back here! Shed still! I can't squirt you when you're moving! Jason, stop! I'm trying to find out why the ancient kids of the creek were fighting each other! Well, maybe because some jerk kid showed up at some lonely kid's house like he wanted to play, but really he just wanted to dig up his backyard! Ever think of that? Ah! <laughs> huh? Oh! Oh! Who am I kidding? Whistles can't save me now! <laughs> Jason, when I give the signal, I'm gonna need you to jump. <laughs> what? <laughs> An ancient capture the flag war? You should have told me that in the first place. That sounds cool. Cool? Pfft, you know nothing of war. So why did it start? I don't know. The book got soaked. And the rest of these just seem to be about dodgeball games and stuff. Way to go, Jason. Hey! No, it's not Jason's fault. I don't know if it matters how the war started. I think all that matters is that we don't start one. You know, by digging up backyards and getting each other grounded. So, who wants to try to break the Creek World Record for eating worms? Mortimer's up for the challenge! Worms are his natural enemy. All right, I'll be the judge. I have a whistle! What? <laughs> like being king is hard? I could be king if I wanted. Mm. Being king requires a firm hand. And let's be honest, you can't handle that kind of burden, Craig. So why don't you just hand over the coat? <gasps> Tag him, now! <laughs> Go on, Craig. I'll cover you. I don't need your advice or sympathy. I just need you to get out of my way. What's up, Craig? Need a ride? Now! Move aside! What are we gonna do? If she gets under the overpass, the game is over! Hey, Omar. Pass me that bow. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Cannibal! Don't worry about me, Craig. Just run! <laughs> Miss the creek. Save the reminiscent for yearbook club. Let's do this. Fire! Hand over the flag. I'm not giving up this flag. I can't let the king down. I can't let our side down. If we lose, then there is no king, and there is no BFF. And if there's no BFF, who am I? Just someone who betrayed their best friend for nothing. <laughs> Maya, I know how you feel. 
I spent three summers standing on that overpass, but there were so many other things I would have rather been doing instead of being mad at you. We can't get those summers back, but it doesn't mean this summer has to be a waste. <laughs> King Craig now? Or... No. Listen, everybody. The creek is special. It's a place where kids can play how they want. And we don't need a king to tell us how to do that. Because the creek belongs to all of us. in the old stumpy. So, we've triumphantly vanquished tyranny from the creek. What now? Well, now that the king's gone, there's a whole other side of the creek to explore. My arms are too stubby. JP, I'm gonna need- Way ahead of you. All right, a little to the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. <laughs> Got it. There's only one way to get it back, but it's incredibly dangerous. We have to sneak past Harold. <clears throat> I'll do it. I can't let people laugh at my art. Kelsey, if you don't make it, I'll always remember you and your writing. What? Don't make it? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool if I said something dramatic as you were walking away. It sounded cooler in my head. Hello, librarymen. I would please like to check out this book and this chair. You can't check out a chair. Well then, how am I supposed to read the book? Standing on my feet? Impossible! <laughs> Thanks, Mortimer. Ugh, lots of people read without sitting. Prove it. DVDs. There once was a frog. I gotta figure out a way to get this book closer to my eyes. And so Kelsey the Brave had triumphed yet again. And now for her flawless escape. Hey! So you're the one sneaking these counterfeit books onto the shelves. Do you understand how many library rules you just violated? Seven or less? Distributing counterfeit literary material, illicit use of the photocopy machine, confusing a librarian, and wasting his 30 minute lunch break. For all your crimes, I'm gonna have to confiscate your library cards. Now! You too. Wait. This is my fault. Don't punish my friends. It was only five books, I promise. I won't do it again. Only five books? What about thieves? <gasps> Par Yamara Mi Propia Estrella by Isabella Alvarado. Who's that? Me. Para Llamar Mi Propia Estrella. It means to call a star my own. It's a story I've been working on about a girl who's lost in space looking for a home. Your story was so good, it made me want to finish mine. You inspired me. 
Stax, why didn't you tell me about this earlier? I was kind of hoping that you'd find the book on your own and read it and say, oh, wow, who is this amazing author? And I'd say, me. Okay, I'm just gonna destroy your cards now. No, 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 no. You know what? Go ahead, cut them up. Huh? You take our cards, I'll walk out of this room inspired to make my own book. And that will inspire other kids to make their own books. Are you willing to spend your life hunting down books we've hidden in the library? It'll be like cleaning up glitter. You'll never get rid of them. Uh, fine. You can keep your library cards. But what am I supposed to do with these books? Create some kind of special section run by kids? For kids? Wow! You both did it! I want to put a book up there. Maybe an Atlas of the Creek! I got an idea for a book, too. Robbie and the Frostblade. Wow! You're being ripped off, Cal. You've truly made it. <laughs> so have you. We have a third player. Man, I hope someone shows up to be our third player. Hey, Craig and Kelsey! Is this where I line up for tryouts? Man, I hope someone else shows up to be our third player. Oh, Bobby! <laughs> yep. Hey, just gonna give everyone else some time to show up. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is gonna show up. Hey, Bobby! Yeah, uh, do you have your own skates? Oh, yeah, of course. Then congratulations, you're on the team. Yay! <sighs> Pow! <laughs> hey! You ready to play some hockey? Hockey? Hockey! Woo! Aw. Craig, where are we going? Don't worry, JP. Just uh, let us get in some easy shots. Oh! Wink! Who's this man of the terry claw? He is gonna be our referee. All right. We are gathered here today for a game of hockey. Now let us play. Yeah. All right, we don't know how to play hockey. Yeah. Bobby, think of the puck as a piece of candy. Board. Thank you. What? Uh, candy. I got it! Huh? Oh, you wanna fight? Ooh. Oh, sorry, kid father. <laughs> yeah. My candy! Oh. Oh. Hey, Bobby! Dang, I can't even get the puck over here. Come on, somebody! Shoot! Score! <sighs> We're trying! I think he was talking to us. JP wants goal. JP gets a goal. Huh? I got the Craig, come on! Ah oh, man, you okay? Buckets! JP! <gasps> stop it! Whoops! Are you serious? Dinner horn! Game over! No one scored. Not even one point. Shame on all of you. Uh, I guess that means nobody wins. Does that mean I'm stuck on this team? Uh, we're sorry, JP. We really tried. Wait, Bobby, right? You were amazing out there. Thank you. Ah. That's right. Bobby's one of the best players in the creek. But maybe he'd want to join your team instead of JP. Yes, please. I can't carry these two. Do we want to trade JP? He has the magic jersey. Yeah, but my man Bobby over here knows how to play. Throw in the magic jersey, and you got yourself a deal. Way ahead of you. JP, you are no longer bound by the handshake. Here, this will make it more official. Gordy! Hooray! Good to have you back, JP. Thanks, y'all. Yeah! Get up, Bobby. I <laughs> traded you. Bobby! Welcome to the team. I miss my crumb barrier. JP! Oh, there you are. <laughs> you got another package in the mail. I wonder what could be inside. No way! It's my jersey! I talked to your dad and asked if he could send another one. He said he's sorry for sending something he thought would be cool, instead of what you really want. How's it look? JP, just 
Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Where is your other jersey? To help them regain the rightful place in the animal kingdom. I want to do something about it, but I need your help. We can help. Yeah! What do you want to do? Burn down a zoo? I want to free all the dogs in the neighborhood. Yeah! That's... Wait, what? Sounds good. I'm down. Great. Let's go. You mean, like, take them from their owners? Um, yeah. But I feel like their owners might be kind of angry about that. Listen to yourself. Those dogs don't belong to people. They're just like Tartara when we trapped him in that cage. Don't they deserve their freedom? I, I guess so. Let's go! <laughs> How are we gonna free the dogs with the owners in the yards? We just need some kind of distraction. I got an idea, but it's a little complicated. Try to spread time with my dog! Now, Kelsey! Go! Go forth, noble beast, and be free! Free to chase squirrels, pee on whatever you want, and let no human tell you when to walk. <laughs> now, it's your turn, Mortimer. It is time for you to return to your majestic life as king of the Serengeti. Of the 37 Mortimers I've had in my life, you're the only one who truly understood me. <laughs> huh? Goodbye, my friend. Now go! Uh, come on! Go! No, in the other direction! I release you! <gasps> That's coming from the training tree! run off into the street? Well, actually, I was... Sheesh. You really don't know anything about animals, do you? Listen, we really need your help. My dog. What happened here? Wildernessa, I tried to free the dogs so they could go back to nature, but it all went wrong. Terribly wrong. I just wanted to help the animals. Instead, the dogs keep trying to eat chocolate and run into the street. Two of my favorite things. Chocolate bars, fast cars, kids who know nothing about nature. It seems that even the creek has been tainted by the world of man. We have got to get these dogs back to their yards before they get hurt. I don't know how we're gonna catch them. They got a bunch of extra legs and they're naked. Wait, I have an idea. Peanut butter. Hey, little doggies. There is more where that came from, babies. <laughs> Safest here. Thanks for helping us, Dog Bear. So, I guess we'll see you around? When nature has taken back these suburbs and the creek runs red with the blood of humanity. What? Bye! Hiya! Mortimer, thanks for choosing me in my head. Mwah. It's not here! Huh? That's coming from the butt! She's been challenging people to battle her and stealing all their beasts. We even tried to challenge her with our custom-made decks. I used my Death Falcon, Wing Destroyer. And I tried to fight her with my Uncle Al and this little piece of Mahjong. She's unstoppable. Come on, Mark. You can beat her. You're the last card fighter. All right. I play my Icarus. I play Beast Snare. No! <laughs> Looks like I'm invincible. Now, who should I challenge next? <laughs> Craig, that card is my future. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen. I just, I just wanted to finally play the game like you. 
Wait, what? I always thought it was cool how you outsmarted everybody with just the right move. I just wanted to be like you, but instead I'm the one who got outsmarted. But I'm gonna fix this. Oh, oh, Give me back that bee snare! It doesn't belong to you! <laughs> There's only one way you're getting it back. Bring out your beast. And what are you gonna play with? Uh... If we're gonna do this, let's do this the right way. With matching jackets? No, dummy. Together. Whatever. With my snare, I'm unbeatable. Bring it! Move! They're fighting for the fate of the butt! We can win this thing if we can deal enough damage before she can play that bee snare. A bushel up. Play it with a booster berry and attack. Two damage. <laughs> I can take it. Vaxelich, play your giant. I thorn bolt it. Let her roll. Ha. Attack again with the boosted bush alarm. I regrow the thorn bolt. Now you roll. I roll and play this. Craig, what are you doing? Playing a deflection card? Won't that save our bush slope? Yeah. <laughs> and damage her with her own thorn bolt. You're really catching on, though, bro. Thanks. Hey, I got a text from my boyfriend saying he was digging up some college money at the creek. They're beast battling for the fate of the creek, and they're winning. They're actually winning! They've already won. They're brothers again. You blockhead, that's not how you win. And besides, as soon as she draws that beast snare, they're done for. A few more points of damage and we win. I activate beast snare. <gasps> what? Yoink. Watch it, Craig. Uh, I play Dragon. <laughs> snare it! I play this volcano bird. Snare it! She's stealing their beast before they can do any damage! There has to be a way. It's okay. It's... it's over. This is all my fault anyway. I should have played with you earlier. You're actually pretty smart, man. This game is just about reading the cards. I got it! Squeakers in? I did it! What's that little mousy card? <laughs> Should have listened to your brother. You can play any beast you want. I'm just gonna snare it. In the stack it goes. Wait, hmm? read the card. At the end of the turn, Squeakers deals three damage to me? <gasps> she doesn't have the life left. <sighs> Felt nice while it lasted. <laughs> Here's your card back, Bernard. I'm so sorry I took it, I just... No, keep it. You can keep all of them. There will be a day when I come for them, probably when my first tuition check is due, but until then, they're yours to battle with. Just so long as you use protective sleeves. Th thanks, Bernard. That was cool. I can't believe you guys won. You must have been a pretty good player when you were a kid. <laughs> no. I was the best. Bernard, you gonna go search for the kids? Who? JP, tell your stomach to be quiet. I keep punching it, but it won't stop. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Huh? <gasps> Someone's coming! Hmm. No, not in here. My mom! She didn't even see us! There's only one logical explanation, Craig. We're invisible! <gasps> invisible? Did you say invisible? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we are almost done with this puzzle, Miss Jessica. Wait! Small Uncle needs to see this. I'll be right back! Ooh. Hmm, Ooh. that's strange. I thought I heard somebody laughing. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a g-g-g-ghost in here! Ooh. Two ghosts! D Dwayne, you gotta help me! So sorry, Mom! I got ghost problems of my own! Ah! Huh? Ah! Well, I'm done with that grater, but the way it's floating around is so haunting! Hey, that's no ghost! James Pajamas! It's John Paul, by the way. And that's Kelsey! My illusion has failed! And this final so-called ghost, I'm sorry to say, is my own flesh and blood, Craig! Huh. 
Your powers have grown, sister. But I know your weakness. But I don't have any weaknesses. Oh, yes, you do. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not even checking you. Okay, y'all. Lunch is served. Wow, it's so cheesy. You got that right, James Pajamas. I use four types of cheese. Cream, goat, mimolette, and gruyere. Mm. Mm. Uh, what is this? <laughs> I see you found my special ingredient. Blackberries, Craig. They give the sandwich a nice balance of salty and sweet. I hate it. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Hate is a strong word. Uh, I strongly dislike them. Can you please take them out? Not to be dramatic, but... Aw, uh, no thank you. I can't believe this. You like it, don't you, baby girl? Hmm, I'm sorry, Daddy. I don't like it at all. Oh, man. I guess I'll go and make y'all some regular grilled cheese. Yay! Well, I think it's a masterpiece. Besides, kids have bad taste anyway. <gasps> you right, Mommy. You right. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. <sighs> well, sorry, baby. Looks like it'll be a while before you can go back outside. Mwah. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot we were waiting to go back outside. Yeah, it's been fun just hanging out at your place, Craig. I kind of don't want to go back out either. Hmm. Yeah, let's just stay inside. Oh, I found it, y'all! I found my own skateboard. Bernard, come watch your mama bust an island real quick. Ooh, ooh. Baby, I don't think... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, Mom, be careful. Oh. No, look, 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 look. Y'all said you were gonna cover me! Uh-oh. Green Poncho! <gasps> uh, Green Poncho, are you okay? Uh, Craig, is that you? Stay with me! I'm cold, Craig. So cold. A bunch of snow got in my poncho. Uh. Hey, bro, those are my eardrums, man. Oh, sorry. No! <laughs> yeah, boy! We did it! I have finally defeated the green poncho all by myself! Huh, maybe I don't need a plan B. Now, it's time to claim what's rightfully mine. Onwards, friend! Hey, 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 keep it steady. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Sorry, your kingliness. It's a little <laughs> slippery. As a father, I saw life come into this world. As a soldier, I'm watching one leave. It's all over. All because we couldn't stop arguing. Not even in the middle of a war. <sighs> the sun's going down. I almost wish I just stayed home. I could be in a warm blanket with a little hot cocoa. Huh, that's kind of how I felt. When I was at home playing my game for the last few days, I got comfortable, maybe too comfortable. I abandoned the creek and I abandoned you guys. I'm sorry for not checking in. Thanks, Craig. And I'm sorry for making you feel like our needs come first. We all need me time. Does this make us friends again? Of course, dude. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad we're together. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still a little feral. We can hug now. What are y'all hugging for? You're alive? Yeah, but not for long. We need to do something before the king makes it across and realizes how empty the creek is. Oh, uh, well, then let's just pretend like there's a lot of kids over here. Quick, how many voices can you do? I'm JP. I'm Quippy. I'm JP. Ah, oh, darn it. OK, that's three. Green Poncho, do you have any more net arrows? I have an idea. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself down there! This is taking forever! <laughs> Finally, I'll reign over the entire creek and cement my legacy as the greatest king of all! Better than my sister Cheyenne. Better than my brother Kenneth. Hmm? Where did all these kids come from? She said the side was empty! 
Creek forces attack! <laughs> it worked. I can't believe they thought all those snowmen were Creek kids. <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of dirtbags, right, guys? <laughs> yeah. Craig, dirtbag is so 22 minutes ago. We're doing ice for brains now. You did good today, ice for brains. It might not be so easy next time. Eh, I'm not worried. As long as we have friends by our side, we'll keep this Creek safe together. I'm doing fine. Hey, so listen, Grandma. Ugh. My snack supplies are running a little bit low, but I did get a B-plus on my science project. Ugh. That might be worth a couple of bags of snacks to trade, don't you think? Yeah. You know, so I can restock. Your Highness, Maya reporting in. Your distraction worked. I think I know how we can take down the side of the creek. <sighs> Shouldn't have come here. The king has a picture of my map. And I'm gonna miss my dad's surprise party. Not that it matters, because I don't even have a present for him besides that dumb card I made. I'm sorry, you guys. Nah, this is on me. You guys were all like, it's dangerous. But I was like, I want a hat. And honestly, I should have listened to y'all, because these kids were wild. If we ever do get out of here, I'm sure your dad will love the card you give him, because you always make great things, whether it's a birthday card or making a bunch of hoses into a cool water fountain. <gasps> the hoses. They looked like a tangled mess, but it was really one hose twisted around. The maze is the same thing, one tangled line. The exit connects to this entrance, so if we just keep to one side and follow it all the way, we'll get out. Wait, spikes ahead. His trap. Yeah, it's clearly just a distraction to play on our hunger. <laughs> GP, didn't you hear us all agree it's a trap? Relax. Brownies are a grab and go snack. I'm just gonna grab one and go. <laughs> I just want a grab and go snack. I was blurried for a second, but you all actually made it out of the maze. Too bad for you. The king left us here as an insurance policy. Prepare to fight. Dinner time? Chili dogs. Gotta go home. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming home, father. Hey, how'd it go? We won the tournament, but the king caught us and took a picture of my map. We'll talk later. Okay. Wait, what? We made it! Surprise! Aw, oh, it's just Craig. Are you kidding me? Everybody reset. Places, people, places. JP, where is your shirt? Oh, a brownie monster took it. Wait, wait, who are these other kids? Oh, they're with me. Yeah, Nicole, I didn't know we could bring friends. My boy Ron didn't have nothing to do today. And he can make a mean grilled cheese, too. Please, you say that like it's more than two ingredients. It's just bread, cheese, and fire. Shh. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Dad, the next time you schedule your doctor's appointments, you ain't got to do it all in one day. Surprise! Surprise! Oh! Here's your first gift. You will always be my oldest son. Wow, a pineapple watch. I've been wanting one of these. These cost a fortune. Did you use my fortune? I use my own fortune and a couple of coupons. My man. Thanks, Bernard. Calling Buttnark. What? That's so cool. Hey, Dad, I made this for you. Oh, a card. I know it's not a cool watch or anything, but... Oh, look, it's us! <laughs> With our muscles! And my catchphrase, kaboo! To the best dad ever, Craig. I love it. Well, at least we got cake. And bruises. Man, we sure were lucky to make it home in time. 
Sorry about your map, though. Now that the king has a picture of your map, it's only a matter of time before he makes his move to take over our side of the creek. I don't know when or where the king will strike. But when he does, we will be ready for him. Still thinking about your friends, huh? Yeah. I just feel bad. My friends are out there playing without me. Cray, there's a time for work, and there's a time for reminiscing. Guess what time it is right now? <sighs> I know. But this is how it starts. They underappreciate you, they undervalue you, and then they make you look like a bad guy just because they can't see your potential. Because she can't see your potential. Hey there! Welcome to Cardboard City. My name's Zoe. What brings you to our humble town? We kind of got lost on the way back to our spot. Do you think you could give us directions? It's a stump. It kind of looks like a, a tree, but with its head cut off. Yeah, see, we were at this place called New Cardboard City. Wait, did you just say New Cardboard City? Yeah, this uh, kid named Carter built it. <gasps> Carter Brown? <sighs> Systems ready, Craig? Cheer. All strings online. to play with Carter, but our city was never enough for him. He always wanted it to be taller or have drawbridges and a faucet. He was really into that for some reason. We told him we didn't want to play that way and he stormed off in anger, never to be seen again. Another cardboard city? Perhaps now you'll see what cardboard is really capable of. Wait, wasn't, wasn't that guy Southern? stuff it's better than wait these hands were made for building but maybe they're not my hands right now maybe they're the paws of a cat who's unsatisfied with his home ah! i'm an unhinged cat warrior meow this toy stinks meow where's my food meow <laughs> what's going on Craig in a British accent as he dealt the decisive blow. <laughs> Craig! You guys, you're okay. Listen, I'm sorry about earlier. I realized that I like building stuff, but it's no fun without you guys. I'm sorry too. I don't think you waste your time building cool things like this. Weapon of mass destruction! Yeah, you didn't tell us you were building a giant robot. <laughs> Give me one good reason I shouldn't turn you into paper mache. Don't you see? I did this all for you! You could have been my cardboard queen. Get out of here, Carter, before I paper cut you. <laughs> I'll be back! You'll see! One rainstorm, and you'll wish you had my brains and my duct tape and my heart. Well... Glad we're still friends. She let her hair down. If you were looking for trouble, you found it. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for my book. Uh, I don't think the smarty boys ever fought a ninja. If it's a battle you seek, it's a battle you'll get. Ah! Oh, geez. You okay? <laughs> Please stop! You've caused enough pain in the ninja garden. Let's just hope you haven't damaged your imported manga. The complete justice, bro? You've been reading Western superhero comics? Gross! <sighs> Why can't we find this kid? I don't 
don't know. A according to the Smarty Boys, we should be chasing down the culprit in our dad's convertible by now. You know what? These books aren't very relatable. We don't even have a culprit! Guys, I think that was a red turtle shell backpack. Get up! Kelsey! Hey, kid! Do you frequent the library? <laughs> we can cut her off! Ugh, I think I broke my binoculars back there. It's just a book report about kids living on a train. I don't know what it's about, okay? I got some kid at the library to write it for me. Here you go. Sorry. There goes the red turtle shell backpack. And all hope. That was it. But the book wasn't there like Stack said. My only chance to know how the series ends now is if they make a movie out of the books. And even then, I won't be able to see the movies until I'm 18 because they're bound to be too violent for kids! Yeah, everything's too violent for kids. Smarty boys? Those books are so juvenile. The culprit is always the first person they meet. There's no way it was the guy at the malt shop. It was the guy at the malt shop. What's a malt? Hmm. It's always the first person we meet. Now let's go get a malt on daddy's dime. Always the first person we meet. I got some kid at the library to write it for me. Those books are for indoor kids, Craig. I think I'm the only two kids who read these books. You read manga backwards. Could it be? We solved the mystery, Stacks. Ah! We know you have the book, Stacks. I... I don't know what you're talking about. You have Euthra... Yathra? Yathrith of Scrigeth. Yeah, that book. You must be mistaken. I would never detain a library book past its due date. You have the book, but you didn't want us to find out. So, you pinned it on someone else. One of the kids you give book reports to. Huh? What would be the harm? They don't need the library like you. All they need is a passing grade. They don't care about story. They don't care about literary symbolism. They don't respect books! Nobody respects books! Nobody except you, Kelsey. Tell me it's not true. <sighs> what? It was under our noses and her butt the entire time. But why? Why'd you do it? I was worried. Once you finished the series, I'd have nobody else to talk to about books. Nobody else talks to me about books. Unless they want me to do a report for them. I'm sorry, Kelsey. What was the name of that other series? The Trials of Trebulon? Maybe I'll check it out next time. I'll let you know what I think. Well, you did it again, smarty boys. Case closed! Look! Could it be the tree Boris was talking about? This is the source! Evil tree, release this forest from your grasp! It won't listen to reason. We have no choice. Tree is tough. Let us give it a try. Spinning steps! Get ready for Bubble Bob. oh, oh! I don't understand. My butt can destroy anything. Car seats, underwear, a bridge once. Kelsey? How do you feel? I, I feel like I got a spider! I, I don't understand. If it wasn't the tree, then what is the source of the anti-sparkle? Don't you see? The source of the anti-sparkle is me. No, it cannot be. Cannot it, Craig? Cannot it not be? Nothing good happens to me. Everything I touch goes bad, and everything is bad because I am the Sparkle, and the only way to call this evil is for you to strike me down. If I must, I will. Shining Sparkle for us! When did the anti 
Sparkle get to her? I don't know. She won't tell us what happened today. Ah! No bubbles can stop me. I'm having a bad day, and everything is terrible. But why? Why is everything so terrible? I told you. I don't want to talk about it. I, I know you don't, but maybe it will help. Nothing else has. No, no, it's dumb. You don't want to hear it. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, for starters, I tried to kick a stop sign, then I fell into the mud. Why'd you kick a stop sign? Uh, I told you it's dumb. No, it's not. Sometimes signs need kicking. Just keep complaining, Kelsey. Uh, I was just mad at myself because I ran into the house and ran into the recycling bin. <laughs> That's it! She doesn't need to let her inner sparkle out! She needs to get her anti-sparkle out! Keep whining, Kelsey! We want to hear it! I was running out of the house because... Because... Yeah, just, just let, let it, it out! out. Uh, because Mortimer was sick! <gasps> I accidentally fed him too much bird seed, and he pooped on my head. He's okay, I just... I felt really mad at myself for making his tummy hurt. How do you feel? I feel a little better. I'm sorry, Kelsey. What made me feel better was to let out my most glittery self. But sometimes you need to let out your most grossest self. It's okay. You're just trying to help. And now I have another tool in my arsenal to battle the anti-sparkle. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I needed a bath anyway. I stink pretty bad. So, why do you think you're better than me? I, I, I don't. I've just got long legs and big dreams. I'm glad you brought up dreams, Craig, because after the Stump Kids' two losses today, this Creek Olympics is turning out to be what many would call a nightmare. Thoughts on this nightmare? Craig approaches the edge of the creek and certain doom. He sees his friends cheering across the bank. Perhaps for the last time. <laughs> and he's up! <laughs> Effort, but like many before him, he just couldn't stick the landing. This is starting to look impossible. Let's see if Bobby can prove that statement wrong. And he's off! Oh, and he landed it? He stuck the landing! Against all scientific odds, Bobby has cleared the creek, taking home a gold medal for whatever group of kids he hangs out with. Seems like Bobby is having trouble with his shoes. Well, let's go to camera two. <gasps> Bobby put gummy bears on the bottom of his shoes. He cheated. Let's check out the replay. And there, you can see it as clear as day. He used the adhesive qualities of that sticky candy to stick the landing. Ugh, it truly is a sad day for Creek Limpians everywhere. We'll be right back. <clears throat> In a perfect creek, you'd never forget a snack. In a perfect creek, You'd get the snack you want in a, uh, but the creek is not perfect. And that's why the creek needs the trading tree. If it's snack time, it's trading time down at the trading tree. Ding! And we're back with the final event of the Winter Creek Olympics. Ultimate Speed Sledding! Woo! The final competitors of the day, the Stump Kids, who have yet to take home any medals. Let's go to Ren on the hill. Ren? Craig, this event will be your team's last chance for a medal. Your last chance to make your Creek Olympic dreams come true. Your last chance to prove yourself to the cosmos. Can you do it, or will you all go home cold and soggy losers? Look, just because we haven't won anything doesn't mean we're losers. I mean, it kind of does. <sighs> Let's just do this. They're on their marks. And there they go! <laughs> it's looking like a good start. This could be the one for them. Uh-oh, something's going on with JP. <laughs> and they crashed.
crashed right before the finish line. And that's it, folks. That was their last chance. Looks like this year there's going to be no medals for the Stump Kids. Wait, what's this? It looks like Craig is giving some sort of heartfelt speech, which is only going to add more time. And now they're going back up the hill? Uh, I hope they realize at this point they have no chance of winning. Look, the Stump Kids are going down the track again! My brain feels soft. Now the other athletes are doing it too? Sledding just for fun? I never heard of such a thing! In all my years of winning millions of medals, I've never seen anything like this. You gotta wonder what's going through their minds right now. Well, let's ask them. Craig, what did you say to your teammates down there? I said that winning can be fun. But you know what's always fun? Having fun. Deep. Immeasurably. And with that, we conclude another amazing Winter Creek Olympics! Okay, bye! Whee! Those first graders are just kids. Slightly younger kids! You want to know what's not right? Letting Cousin Bobby play. He's like 50. Hey, I'm 23. It's too late for Cousin Bobby. Hey! But these first graders still have a future. If Cousin Bobby stays, so do the first graders. Hanging out with JP all the time, forget that most middle schoolers are barbarians and not the cool kind who wear fur underwear. Well, one of us is right and one of us is wrong. That's how the world works. So how are we going to figure this out? It's not like there's some kid in a suit who decides these things. La, 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 everything is fine. Why do they have to be in a suit? Because anyone in a suit is obviously responsible. I ran out of things to say. That's it. Well, I'll tell you what would be responsible. Solving this argument, because I'm about to shoot everyone. That's why we need a kid in a suit. Hey. This kid can help you. Huh? He's got a suit and a strong sense of moral. All right, suit's good enough for me. What are you doing? I can't negotiate a peace treaty between the paintballers. Come on, JP. You wanted to be a responsible older kid? This is your chance to look out for everyone else at the creek by stopping war. Yeah, th this could be big. Maybe they'll even give me a creek peace prize for this. Thank you for joining me today, gentlemen. Paintball Mike, would you like to go first? Uh -um. We, the United Sixth Grade Paintball Federation, want the first graders out of this war. First graders are out. Paintball banning. Us other guys want to be able to keep the first graders to use as human paint shields and such. The first graders are in. Hey, you just said they were out. Uh, we seem to be at an impasse. How about this? I'm just going to write down a number. Would you be willing to settle for this? Uh, this is just a piece of paper that says 300 on it. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. What if I were to add a zero? Now it says zero 300. Uh, that's it. No more negotiations. Sounds good to me. Oh, c come on, guys. We can work this out. You guys are brothers. You shouldn't be fighting. You should be hugging. I mean, can you guys even remember how this silly war started? Huh, maybe the suit's right. What are we even doing here, Mikey? This isn't us. Oh, wait. <laughs> I remember how it started. You shot Mike in the noo noo. <laughs> that was messed up. The war is back on. Incoming! Get JP out of here. <laughs> Oh, dang. I don't know what to do. All day I tried to be responsible and not get dirty, and, and now you guys are dirty and I'm responsible. I take a grenade for you no matter what you're wearing. Yeah, you're our friend, with or without the suit. With or without the suit? Then I'll take without the suit. Uh, JP? <laughs> Lives. We are forever in your debt. Good job, JP. Oh, hey, Laura! John, Paul, don't you dare tell me you went out in your birthday suit again! Nah, I wore my Sunday suit. You did what? Well, don't worry, I didn't get nothing dirty. 
<laughs> Very responsible, JP. Somebody put some clothes on that boy! Back off, Carol! His body is beautiful! Pleasure doing trading with you. Hey, Kit. We need four rolls of duct tape. And some candy for my boo-boos. Sticker chips? What are those? They're chips with a sticker on them. Eh, uh, what's so special about them? There's a sticker on them. Hmm. I'll take 40 bags. This has been my best trading day ever! Even better than when that truck of taco rolls overturned on 295. You know, you've been a really helpful intern, Jessica. Really? Oh, absolutely! In fact, why don't you handle this next trade solo? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Jessica, you got this. What can I trade you for? What bag of sticker chips, please? Coming right up. Uh, is something wrong? I'm all out of stickers. Out of stickers? Does that mean you're out of sticker chips? Out of sticker chips? What do you mean for out of sticker chips? Uh-oh. I thought you said you had more than you could count. I did. This is more than I can count. I get confused after three sheets of stickers. Uh. How about a bag of super spicy beefers instead? No, I only want a... Sticker chips. Sticker chips. Sticker chips. Oh no, oh no! It's all in your head, it's all in your head. Ah, this is not in my head. Oh, I can't believe Bobby got stuck in the prickle bush. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him out of there. But first things first, snacks. Uh, do you think Jessica needs help? Ah, uh, yeah, but you know what? First things first, we should probably help Bobby out of that prickle bush. Are they mad? They are zombies, Jessica! Have you ever seen a happy zombie? Is this my fault? Rule number 263, don't let anybody make you feel bad for your own success. But none of this would have happened if I didn't rebrand. Rebrand. That's it. Jessica, grab some snacks to hold them off. I have got a plan. Go, go, go! Of course, the coveted choco roll. Here, take some choco rolls. They're delicious, you fools. Thank you all for waiting so patiently for our latest announcement. Introducing to you, Sticker Chips Classic! The same sticker chip flavor, but in a retro classic package. Boy, they look like regular sticker chips without the sticker. Well, it's like we always say, there's nothing better than a classic. Genius, Kit! Huh, I got the idea from you. You are a real deal business kid. Jessica, Kit, fear not! Craigie Boy here came up with a way to help your sticker chip problem. We already solved the problem, Craigie. Don't worry, I got it right here. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. And we saw you run away earlier, too. Oh, well, um, do you guys still want to see what my solution was? Or... No. Okay. Then can I get a bag of sticker chips or We're close, Craigie! I recognize these two. Oh, this is just so many words. Skip to chapter 86, ritualistic energy containment circles. There, if we can lure them into a circle of salt, we will be able to keep their powers at bay. Or we could just soak them in water. Looks like a real bad time for a witch. So that's all it takes? Salt to ward them off? And water to melt them? Hmm. Hmm? Huh? JP? Preventative measures! Oh, great circle of salt. Vaporize these witches and their evil spells. And hurry, I hear them! I think your dad knows I'm not picking up for jazz band. One, I never have an instrument. And two, when he asked me what instrument I played, I said asparagus. 
So close. Who cares what my dad thinks? No! I care. If he finds out we're sneaking off into the woods, you're gonna be in huge trouble. And then we won't be able to hang out for weeks. Don't you get it, Courtney? If I go to college or whatever, then I'll be like a million miles away and I won't be able to hang out with you at all. I'm not trying to get in trouble. I'm just trying to spend a little more time with you before I can't. Oh. Enough of this! No! What the heck? It's those kids! Undo the curse or be undone! Curse? Oh, remember, we cursed them. Oh, I'm not undoing anything, especially after this. Tabitha, are you out here? Ah, dang, I lost my sandal. It's my dad. Witches have dads? If he catches me, I'll be grounded forever. I gotta get back home. We can't be cursed forever. If we help you escape, will you uncurse me and my friends? Fine, sure, whatever. This way. Here. will support us. Well, you're witches. Why don't you just fly over? What, um, we don't have our brooms? Let's just wait across. Okay, okay, okay. Stupid 50 billion buckles. Hurry up. Courtney, is that you? Come on, this way. Huh. Our last hope was a rope swing. We can't reach that. Hey, where'd that kid go? He ditched us? I'm gonna crush this whole family. Look. Holy guacamole, what's he doing? Be careful. Say a little prayer for old Creaky Boy. You're nuts, kid! No! I just want this curse lifted! Aha! Huh? Huh, she's not here. Maybe she is a jazz band. Maybe if you trusted her, Glenn, you wouldn't be in the woods at night with one sandal. Craig! <laughs> Did you rip your pants? Oh no! The curse is still upon you! A deal is a deal! Lift this sick and evil malediction from our souls! Listen, babies, we can't break the curse because... Because you have to break the curse. Right. One of you step forward. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh, have the seal and the curse shall be broken. <laughs> the curse is broken. Wait, for going out on a limb for us, I shall bestow upon you a seal to protect you from other dark magic. The Empress of Swords. Oh. Thanks again, you little punks. See you around. Later. Aw, good riddance. We did it. We got the curse lifted. And now we're under the protection of the witches of the creek. He's making everyone follow his rules, and now the creek stinks. You've got to tell us how to stop him from being king. <laughs> wow, still talk about the king? My legacy continues. Legacy? Kenneth, you started all this royalty stuff, so you deal with these kids. Uh, okay. Wait, you started this? That means... You must be Xavier's dad! JP, you clearly don't know how royal bloodlines work. He bit Xavier and turned him into the king. <laughs> no, Xavier's my baby brother, and uh, I was the original king of the creek. <gasps> creek lore? Yes, 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 creek lore! Tell us everything. Well, it all started eons ago, back when I used to play in the creek every day with my pals Mark, Barry, and David. Whoa! You were friends with the elders of the creek? Wow, deepest lore. Back in the olden days, we were just a bunch of nerds who loved to LARP. We'd play in the creek and watch anime together. My all-time favorite was Haru, King of the Forest. Man, I loved it so much, I even dressed like Haru. But one day, the city started building an overpass that cut through the creek. So I wasn't able to go across and see my friends anymore. I felt so sad and alone. And then, something amazing happened. Some kids thought my costume was cool. <laughs> After a while, other kids started dressing up and playing with us. I started bringing candy and all this other stuff, and even more kids showed up to play. Man, it was crazy. My friends started joking and calling me King Kenneth, and it just kind of stuck. After a while, I got too old for the creek. So Cheyenne took the game over and made things a little different. Sounds like she passed it on to Xavier, and now he's running it how he wants. Why y'all looking at me like that? 
Because you seem like such a nice and reasonable person. Yeah, what the heck? We would gladly play with somebody like you. That Xavier is a royal pain. Kenneth, can you please ask your little brother to stop making our lives at the creek so miserable? I mean, I could, but you know he's going to do whatever he wants once he's in the creek. Well, what about your parents? Can't they ground him or something if we tell them what he's doing? <laughs> They're the reason Xavier acts the way he does. When I was coming up, my parents wouldn't let me get away with anything. But with Xavier, they let him do whatever he wants. Sorry, guys. Wish I could help. You know, that crown was given me by my friends. But if I know Xavier, the crown is the only reason he has friends. Now, if y'all will excuse me, I'm late for my study group. Man, that was probably our last hope of getting rid of Xavier. And we got nothing. You know, I've started dreading going to the creek. Xavier's just taking all the fun out of it. It's like school now, except more crying and less chocolate milk. Ah, it's the worst! I heard Sewer Queen and the Tin Speed started playing at home. Soon, all the creek kids are gonna start playing inside, and then the creek will be empty. Just like in ancient times, after the great capture the flag war. That's it! I know how we can stop the king, but we're gonna have to go to the creek. What's in the stump that could possibly stop the king? Guys, Kenneth basically told us that Xavier is never going to give up being the king or leave our side of the creek alone. Soon enough, he's going to run everyone out of the creek and it'll be abandoned, just like in the ancient times. But if we're losing the creek, we're not going to go down without a fight. We are going to challenge him to a winner-takes-all game of Capture the Flag. ready to do what they can to save the creek. But if we're gonna win this capture the flag war, we need the green poncho. Sorry, Craig, but I'm not the green poncho anymore. Three summers. I spent three summers guarding the overpass. Three summers I could have been reading comic books and making friends. I gave my life to the creek and it turned its back on me. So now I'm taking some time to just be me. If you'll excuse me, I'm just about to start season three of Rhino Racers, Reborn and Rehorned. Omar, I'm sorry the creek turned its back on you. I tried to warn everyone. I tried to tell them not to let the king in, but they just wouldn't listen. Sometimes I wish the creek just had a little order. Order? You want order. You, Mr. Play How You Want. I know, I know I sound like a grown up, but if they had just done what I said, we wouldn't be in this mess. But this mess could cost us our creek, the place that gave me the opportunity to be myself and to meet my friends and to meet you. And if we don't beat the king, we won't have that anymore. I won't have that anymore. I'm sorry, but I can't go to war for the creek. But I will do it for Craig. <laughs> I thought you weren't the green poncho anymore. Yeah, well. You never know when it's gonna rain. All right, first things first. Everyone thank my mom for providing snacks. Thanks, Thank you very Thanks, much, mom. adult. She calls me Kelsey. All right, enough of that. Please direct your attention to the screen. This is our theater of operations. We'll split into four teams, led by me, Kelsey, Omar, and JP. Once we make our initial push through the front lines, my team will head to the King's Keep to look for the flag, while Kelsey will lead Manny and the Ten Speeds to search every corner of the maze. Omar's team will make their way through the sewers to Fort Wisteria, and JP, you will be in charge of defending our flag. What about 
me. Bobby? What are you doing here? Please, hear me out, Craig. I know I've made a few mistakes. I just want a chance to make things right and to make it up to you. Don't make it up to me. Make it up to the creek. Are they ready? Of course they are. Our knights are the greatest this creek has ever seen. My knights, you mean, and they better be. Remember, Maya, if I lose, you go down with me. And I don't think you can afford to lose any more friends. Listen up! This is a winner-take-all game of Capture the Flag. Freeze tag rules. The overpass is the border. Any kid tagged on the opposing side will be frozen in place for the duration of the game. The first to retrieve the flag and return it to their side will rule the creek. The game will begin at the sound of my sousaphone. <gasps> I did a turn! Sparkle! I'm okay! Gravity can't keep me down. She ready. <laughs> Sparkle, you're doing great. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Be careful. If you're going too fast, you might enter the cross-dimensional warp that I like to call Cannon Space. Wait, what? Oh, no, the creek. I always come this way and use the rope to swing across. But I forgot about the bikes. Hmm. I got this. Wow, where'd this kid go? Voila, on wrong. Oh, wow, so cute. All right, I'll test it out. If anyone's gonna get soaked undies, it'll be me. Yeah! Ah! Okay, y'all! You did it! Tate Wate's Taendra. You got this, Sparks. Yeah! Oh, my glitter, I did it! Watch out. Cannonball is coming. Thank you for your praise and adoration. Now let's go get those ice pops. We made it! Finally! Ice pops! Ice pops! Whoa! Whoa! Closed? Sorry, our power is out. Check the other Duck Mart. Oh, this is the one with no power. My bad. Forever. I knew overcoming those heat monsters would be tough, but I guess they really did win in the end. We came all this way, too. Guess we better get these bikes back and head home. Guys, wait! Cannonball, earlier you mentioned a cross-dimensional warp that sends people through time and space. You mean, cannon space? That's the place. Maybe you can take us through cannon space to get us to the other Duck Mart. But Craig, I've never taken anyone into cannon space with me. What if the sheer amount of speed blows your bones out of your body? Don't worry, Cannonball. Anything's possible with friends by your side. You know what, Sparkle Cadet? You are right. Let's do this. Okay, I need y'all to hold me in place until I can build up enough cannon power to tap into cannon space. and everything cute. Lend me your strength. Creek feel new today. Yeah, it was nice taking a break from my usual Monster of the Week format. We should do this again. And even if we don't get ice pops, we should just like hang out. 
Hey, what if we had a cool name for our little group? Yeah, how about the Friend Speeds? How about the Ice Pop Trio? <gasps> so cute! I mean, I say it Friend Speeds, but so cute. The Ice Pop Trio! Yeah! yeah. I'm gonna throw you out the window to safety! <gasps> Now it's got GP. Do something, Bernard! How am I supposed to do anything when I'm just as scared as you are? Wait, you're scared? Of course I'm scared! Can't you see these lines? I was today years old when I found out swamp monsters are real. What does that mean, Greg? Are aliens real? Am I real? That monster is real. Well, if the swamp monster is real, then there's got to be a real way to beat it. How did they beat the monster in that movie? Fish. They lured it back into the chemical plant with fish, and then dropped a bunch of barrels on it! Okay, I've got a plan, but I'll need a parent or guardian supervision. Can you help with that, Bernard? I don't know, Craig. Don't worry, Craig. I got your back on this one. not working. It must be because the power is out. The stove is gas. I'll try that. And I'll try kicking it. Come on, you Let's go. go. What in the heck are they? <gasps> okay, Greg, I think we've tried enough kicking. There he is. Get him, kid. Hit the ankles with that pipe. Well, wait, uh, I'm just... Ah, take this, you soulless monster! Ah! Stop! I'm not a monster. I'm just a guy. Oh, yeah. I know you. Weren't you in my Spanish class last year? See, si. Me amo David. So, this costume is for a movie? Yeah, me and the other elders were filming a reboot of Swamp Monster from the Swamp, and I'm the Swamp Monster. Why didn't you just say that? I can't talk when I'm wearing that dumb mask, and I can't take off the mask with these dumb gloves on. Sounds to me like you played yourself. No, I played the Swamp Monster. But that still doesn't explain what happened to Karis. Keep my name out your mouth. I saw that little monster. So I got a smoothie. It got boba. I'm really sorry I scared you all. I was just trying to get my thumb drive back. Wait, this thing? Now remember, this is just a rough cut. We still need to get a few shots. Mark was going to borrow a drone from work, but whatever. I hope you all like it. Do you think this is going to be scary? JP, after what we went through, this is nothing. See, that monster wouldn't even step to me, because I'd have a little warrior girl to protect me at all times. It would be my honor, sad crying man. I don't love you, Geneva. I love the Swamp Monster. Ooh, I like that. Um, listen, Craig, I, I owe you an apology. It wasn't right of me to make fun of you for being scared. I mean, I'm your big brother. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Even if you are scared, I know you'll swoop in and knock a monster's head off to protect me. Narnar. Nar. Hey, watch it. I'll knock your head off, you little monster. This garage has been a sanctuary for the local music scene and our bikes. I don't know where else we could play last minute like this. We'd need an isolated spot where we could play and not bother old man Grumpty Dumpty. Yeah, I kind of need a hard surface to put my drums on. With a roof to protect our instruments from the elements and a big opening so people can see you. Yeah, we basically need a garage. Is there a garage in the creek? No, but there's a rock with a bunch of wizards under it. I think I know a place. Whoa. Whoa. Holy french fries, bad moves. This is so great. I have way more room for my drums, and room to jump around, and more room to do this. Doesn't seem like this old boy's too moldy, either. 
Craig, this place is awesome! What? I think it could really work! Yeah! I figured it would fit your specifications! What? This is super cool, but how are we gonna power our instruments? I'll take care of you guys! Against the traps in my teenage plan I was stumbling on the gas and feeling beat up again I was staring down the corpse on a black on a dream Now was willing it to get back on its feet again I was walking through my life and being sick that time I would find myself repeating my story scripts Always serving for a person that was out of the room I was standing on the verge of something that I don't know On the verge of something You know, you guys can go down without me. Don't let me hold you back. If you want to, like, go down and, I don't know. Hey, don't sweat it, Craig. We're loyal. Besides, I mean, look at those chumps. All clumped together, having a great time, sharing youthful joy. Who wants that? And thanks for coming to the show. I want to remind everyone that we've got some free zines and merch for sale on that log back there. It's really cool to see everyone here supporting the woodland scene. And we couldn't have done it without the help of those kids. Way over there! Hey, Craig, why don't you come down and play your song? We don't have to go down there, Craig. Yeah, man. I mean, we can stay here in the bird-free zone. <laughs> no! Are the uh the cutoffs and the quantum axes one two three four i'm brave but i'm scared of you i saw what i thought i knew you're so much bigger i'm brave, brave but i'm brave. scared of you i saw wow they've really improved since two days ago yes Craig, what are we going to call this new place? Pizza Crust Collective 2? The Silent Barn? The Not-So-Silent Barn? The Vulture's Nest. No! What kind of tea party would this be without a game of croquet? JP, you can play with Boris, and Craig, you can play with Jason. Huh? What? God, how in the world did I get stuck with you? Just try to stay out of my way. Come here! Whoa! Careful! You almost ripped my sewing badge! It's not on there very well. Listen, I know why the tea timers invited us here. Uh, yeah, for cake. Uh, no. Look, they invite kids they know don't get along, so they can pit them against each other and watch them fight. For fun. Sorry for getting pushy with you, Tushy. Tushy. <laughs> <laughs> you said the word that I said. <laughs> and isn't it weird that no one has gotten cake yet? We're kids! You lead with cake! That is true. Look, we've had our disagreements. But right now, we have to work together if either one of us wants to get a slice of that cake. Hmm. You got a deal. We'll break you. Oh, oh yeah. Party. My, that was quite a show, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, we worked up quite an appetite, didn't we, friend? Oh, yeah. I look forward to sharing this tiramisu with you, best buddy.
Right, well, anyway, I'm so glad you're both getting along. I'm surprised you don't hang out more often. Oh, but maybe you do? I swear I saw Jason leaving Craig Stump. Uh, what? You were at the stump? Yes! The day of the rainstorm! I wondered what you were doing there, if not to chum it up with your pals. Yeah, what were you doing? Of course, if you say you weren't there, I'd believe you. You scout. So honest. It, it was an accident! Jason? It was you? We were just trying to get a peek inside. How are we supposed to know it was gonna rain? <gasps> it's who, Boris? Ooh. <laughs> but why? Uh, what would you possibly need to get a peek for? It was just a routine safety inspection. Remember when the ninja kids stink bombed the whole creek last summer? No, you don't. Cause guess who found their stockpile and reported them to the authorities? You're welcome. Oh, Craig, to have all your most precious items ruined, if only you could ruin something of Jason's, like his sash of badges. Jay, charge! I'm sorry, okay? These badges are all I got, please. Just like your maps, it's only fair. Now, remember, Craig, dismembering Jason's badges would be quite rude. I guess you'll have to choose cake or revenge. <laughs> is a fake, just like you. You invite kids here to fight each other for your own sick amusement. You never had any cake. No cake for me? Oh no, yoga. Hey, Craig, Ugh. I just gotta ask, why didn't you cut off my badges? I ruined your stuff. It wouldn't have accomplished anything. Cutting off your badges wouldn't have brought my maps back. Hey, Jason! Eat gym socks, punk! What? Oh, my badges! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I can't believe Kelsey and JP are talking to plush dolls. I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't get it. I mean, I guess it's nice to have someone to talk to. I am kind of lonely. And your fur is really soft. That's because I use conditioner. Did you just talk? Oh, Craig, I've always been talking. You just finally started listening. Uh... You know, Craig, talking to stuffed animals can seem silly, but it's good to get your feelings out. What do you mean, Potty Panda? Feelings are kind of like potty. The longer you hold them in, the harder they hurt. <laughs> Because she needs more pillows than Reedy. Why? Because Jessica is to be our new leader. Why? Because she can help take care of us and our playmates, just like Reedy did. And most importantly, she'll never run out of batteries, so we can keep her in the cushion cave forever. Uh, oh no! <sighs> Guys, the plush kids are. Hold up! Boarella was in the middle of a joke. <laughs> Main squeeze. Wait, did I did I do that earlier? That's fine. Okay, what's up, Craig? Jessica is in trouble. The plush kids want to make her their new leader, and they they want to keep her in uh. In a what? Yeah, Craig, why'd you stop? Keep telling us about the evil plush kids and their villainous plan. Jessica's here to help us, and we're not gonna let you take her away. Destroy! Panda? It's time. I need to go. I'll never forget you. Flush! No! Oh! Craig, run! Get Jessica! We can handle it from here! Oh! I'm gonna kick you in the face! Jessica! Oh, Jessica! Huh? Quick! We have to get out of here! <gasps> Did Potty Panda have an accident? No! The plush kids! They want to keep you in this cave! Forever! <laughs> the plush kids have been nice to me and Smoggle. Unlike you. And now that I'm their queen, I'll make sure everyone listens to you, small uncle. <sighs> small uncle, I'm sorry. I, I get it. It's nice to have a friend who always listens to you when it feels like nobody else ever understands. But right now, you really need to listen to me because... How dare you? For many summers, Reedy was our leader. 
He told us stories, taught us lessons. But we knew he was not long for this world because they don't make his batteries anymore. But Jessica, she doesn't need any batteries, so she can tell us what to do until the end of time. Wait, what? I can't see her all the time. I have appointments. Not anymore. I'd like you to formally meet Mondays. He has no moral code, and he is very upset you tried to steal our new leader. Take him down. What are we gonna do? Wait! Hey, wait! Do you hear that? Listen, it's Reedy. He's telling a story without batteries. I hear too. He's talking about finding a bunch of cloud kittens. He's never told that story before. Please tell us more stories, Reedy! <laughs> Reedy, we've missed you. Now we don't have to hurt those kids. Oh my gosh! Uh, don't worry, this isn't our stuffing. So, small uncle, what do you want to do now? Go back? No way we're going home. Painted a branch to look like a pencil, but it looks like there are no rules in the books against that. And if anyone knows the rules, it's a scout. I can't believe it! He's still standing! He's still in the match! Yeah, JP! Time for plan B. Hey, hey, ref! Tony's on the apron calling for the ref's attention. Huh? And he's giving it to him! Uh, hey, ref, uh, I want to show you a badge I have. Yeah, look over here. Oh, my helmet's not on! He turned his helmet around! This is outrageous! Ref David now stumbling around the ring like a fool. And what's Boris doing? Oh, my gosh! He's bringing out a steel pipe! Can he do that? Is he allowed to do that? <laughs> Where'd she get that chair from? From under my butt, Mark. Uh-oh, she's setting her eyes oh, on please. Tony. Uh, wait, wait, up. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, your turn. What's he gonna do? I'm calling it, folks. The show is over. The match is done for. Put your pencils to bed, because this is... A break! He got a break! No, it was just the point. No, no, no. He went for the point! Of course, what a move! I'm losing my mind! By golly, he did it, Mark! And we have our new undefeated World Creek Pencil Break Federation champ! Not so fast, JP. Looks like my pencil breakers couldn't win the belt from you, so I'll just have to buy it from you. <gasps> thanks, but no thanks. I ain't in this for the school supplies. I just like breaking pencils! Yeah! Fine, if I can't buy it off you, then I'll take it off you after I snap you in two. My golly, Nate just put himself in a match with the champ. Oh, there's no way JP's pencil can withstand another bout. His championship reign is over. Guess this is it. I was wrong, JP. Pencil break, it's not just a silly game. It takes skill and heart. And JP, you're the best pencil break player I've ever seen. So here, take my pencil. Your slide the ferret pencil? But it hasn't even been sharpened yet. I, I, I can't take that. Don't worry, GP. I'll get it back after you win. A slide fan, huh? I've always been more of a mech fan. It's a Nightshade 3000 mechanical drafting pencil. No doubt bought with the millions of dollars Nate's made from Pencil Sports Entertainment. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> Hang in there, GP. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. But that doesn't work for me. Oh, no! I think everyone in the audience felt that hit. <laughs> Looks like you're hanging on by a lead. <sighs> J.P. 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 Hey, why are you chanting for him? Stop chanting, he's just a nobody. I'm not a nobody. I'm just some kid who likes breaking pencils. J.P. is the winner! You did it! Uh -huh. JP! You did it, you old pencil breaker! You 
are the champion. Aw, thanks you guys. I couldn't have done it without your support or your pencil. JP, you mark my words. You may have won this time, but I'll be back and I will reclaim my championship. Rematch next Sunday on Paper Pencil. Tune in and watch. It's gonna be really cool. A lot of smack talk, a lot of pencil breaks, and that one girl, she's competing too. I'm not going to tag you. I'm not gonna tag anyone. I want to end the game. Well, I'm sorry, but there is no end. There's only one rule in tag. You get tagged, you're it. That's the game. It's stupid. So if I don't tag someone, I'll be it forever. I'm afraid so. What the? Guys, Kate Chapman lives in Germany now. Don't worry. There's got to be something we can do. Kelsey, okay, okay. If you don't want to tag a kid, you could always tag a dog dressed up like a kid. JP, I appreciate you offering up your dog for this. Oh, it's not my dog. But I have to leave the creek for good. What? Why? You heard the elders. This game is a never-ending plague, and the only way to stop anyone else from being it is for the it to leave the creek. But why does it have to be you? Because I'm a warrior. I've been looking for a quest for my entire life. I thought it would be something cool, like beheading a 20-foot goat man. Maybe it's to end tag. Maybe my destiny is to be alone. No! Being alone isn't your destiny. Yeah, I bet it's the goat man one. I already know what it's like to be on my own. It's what's best for everyone. But what about what's best for you? Craig, you're it. Oh! My clothes. Who are you? Hey, Chucky. Hey, Barnold. I thought of a new game. It's called Tag. Oh, boy. How do you play Tag? I'll show you. Chunky, no! Who's Chunky? Craig! I was going to take Tag out of the creek! Tag me back! Yes, Tag back! Yes, Tag back! Come down here and tag me! You don't deserve to be cursed forever! Neither do you, Kelsey. Great warriors are people, too. They can have feelings. You don't have to suffer alone to be a super cool warrior. You have to fight, even when the odds seem impossible. Because you know your friends need you. And right now, I need you, because I'm it, and I don't want to tag any kid who loves being at the creek either. Well, I guess a real warrior would never run away when a defenseless little boy needs help. I'm the little boy. So I guess we just need to tag a kid who hates the creek. Oh, I know who hates the creek. Is there really a college prep course that meets out here? Yes. Now, I would like to introduce you to the head of the program. Wait a minute. You said this course would prepare me for the SATs, but this is a study guide for the PSATs. And that's a dog. The lipstick is off the pig. I repeat, the pig is lipstickless. Ooh. Touch my hand. I will never touch you. Ah! Touch his hand or I'll cut your head off. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what do you mean you don't take Bitcoin? All right, David, empty your satchel of bar mitzvah gifts. Quickly, now! You're it! No tag backs! That's what all this was for? You're so dumb. This is so dumb. This is why I should be studying, because I don't know any more words to describe how uh, dumb you are. <sighs> you were right. My destiny isn't to be alone. It's to hit people in the head with stuff. Oh, man, we did it. Hey, everyone, Tag has left the creek forever. <laughs> what does monopolize mean? Uh, don't worry about it. That's it, huh? The, uh, overpass y'all were talking about? Yeah, it's even creepier than before. No sign of that archer kid. Mortimer says the coast is clear. <coughs> the water is clear, too! Looks like luck is on our side. Man, check that one out. Creepy. Right? And this symbol's all over the tunnel. It must be important. Can you hold a light up to that symbol while I draw it? Craig, 
We can do this on the way back. Now let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Just one picture. Jackpot! Let's get Holland! Pretty soon, y'all will have a bunch of brothers and sisters, but I promise you'll still be my favorites. Hey, it's starting to rain. We better pack up and head home. Already? But there's still plenty of honeysuckle left to grab. Kelsey's right. The faster we go, the sooner we can get back to those symbols. I mean, home. Greg, you ain't fooling nobody. Come on, chop, chop, move it or lose it, people! <laughs> JP, full speed to the overpass! Two eyes, Captain! Oh, there's one of those wheel things on that barrel! Whoa! It's the Archer Kid! Marker. They're trying to track us! For the love of Scrigan! Oh wait, I got it! Uh-oh! It's sinking! My babies! Huh? Wait! The honeysuckles! We gotta go! But we came all this way! We can't leave empty-handed! You wanna watch? I had good things to trade. I don't want to give it up. Aww. Uh, JP! Aww. There's no time. You have to ditch the bag. Give me your hand! Ah! Oh, no! Clutchosaurus! Sorry, JP. I guess it was his time. Take it squeezy, Clutchosaurus. At least that crazy kid is gone. <laughs> Thank goodness. Here again. Promise. Please don't hurt me or my friends. We're just, we're just trying to go home. Home? It's not safe here. Please don't come back. Craig, are you all right? <laughs> well, I think my creek fairing days are over. Can't thank you enough for saving me, though. I owe you guys my life. Well, I don't want your life, but I will take another toy. What do you got? Uh, I got a mood ring. Sorry you didn't get pics you wanted. Eh, it's okay. I'm just glad everyone's all right. Thanks to you. <laughs> nah. I was just following my warrior instincts. Seriously, though, your instincts were right on the money. I guess for now, some places are better left undiscovered. Hey, so we were all gonna go out and get jobs. You want to join us? Uh, okay. Hello, a huge pile of snow incorporated, a proud division of snow company, where we got so much snow, you won't snow what hits you. I'm John Paul. How can I assist you today? Oh, your order melted? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. One sec. Oh, uh, hey, boss. It happened again. What, what am I supposed to tell the customer? I am not saying that. That is rude. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, my hands are freezing. Phew, I tell you, playing in the snow is a lot less fun when you're doing it from nine to five. Hey, uh, has anyone seen Snow Bobby? Uh, <laughs> uh, check the pile. What? Ring, ring. Uh, hello? Hey, boss says we need more snow. Uh, how much more? A lot. His words. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Looks like we'll be working a little late tonight. Uh, more snow poppies? What am I gonna do? <sighs> I don't even want to think about snow. I yelled at so many imaginary people today. I was not built for this. Uh, we should... Quit. 
But we can't quit. We gotta pay the snow bills. Huh, <sighs> you're right. Besides, who else would hire us? We're just kids. That's it. Everyone, neighborhood meeting, my house. Thank you all for coming here. <clears throat> this isn't fair. We work our fingers to the bone, and we don't even have time to walk our fake dogs, or see our snow babies, or throw JP in a pain dungeon. Yeah! Wait, what? If our boss wants some piles of snow, then he's gotta treat us right. I say tomorrow, we march into work and show that clown we mean business. Yeah! Shh. I just got them all to sleep. We, the huge pile of snow workers union, have some demands. We are tired! We are hurt! And we have like 80 kids! We need snack breaks, universal boo-boo insurance, and, and snow sitters! Or you can take this snow and shovel it! What do you say? So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Then we have no choice but to strike! Oh, uh, Craig? That's what the snow was for? To build our replacements? They're closing in on us! What did I get us into? Houses? Jobs? Organized labor? I just wanted to have a cool hangout. I didn't mean to turn into... A grown-up? I want to go back. Back to when we were just kids, playing in the creek without a care. But we can't go back, Craig. This is our life now. An endless cycle of toiling, day in and day out, just so we can... Hey, where did our houses go? Uh, either I left my ice place off, or we should have built our houses in the shade. They melted. We're free. Yeah! Snow Bob fight! <laughs> so bad. Hey, kid. Hey, Craig. What can I... Oh, and who are you? Is this a place of business? Yep. I call it the trading tree. I trade stuff for snacks. What are your quarterly earnings? I'm kind of in a rush. Can I get three chocolate rolls? What do you want? What do you want? Apple slices, please. Sorry, I don't have any apples today. Of course you don't. But I do have this apple juice in a special glass bottle. Thanks, Kit. Come on, let's go. Make way! Official scout business! Junior Forest Scouts, give us some food. And you're trading for us. Mm. You know we don't take rocks. Look, I need three choco rolls. The safety of the creek depends on it. Well, I guess we're all gonna die, because I just sold the last one to that kid. Huh? Stop right there, Craig! <sighs> By the authority of the Junior Forest Scouts, I order you to hand over your taco rolls. What? Why? Uh, uh, tell him, Tony. <clears throat> we're hungry. Cram it, Tony! Okay, we're hungry. I don't have time for this. Why don't you guys just forage for beetles or something? <sighs> hmm. Three, two, one! What? Ugh, I don't get it. It's just like I drew it. What could have gone wrong? No! JP! Oh no! Now I have to grow a whole new tree. Ugh! Craig, I need a tissue. Jessica! Can't you see I'm busy? The last thing I need is to take care of you, especially when you're such a stickler about every little detail of your... <laughs> Jessica, listen. I I'm not a sticker. I'm a good girl. I came in the creek. I changed my day. Learned something new. I think you're the sticker. You're a sticker, Craig. Well, that was really hard to watch. Hey, mind if I join you? Mm. So, you're right. I am being a sticker. Although the correct pronunciation is stickler. I'm sorry. Look, you were a good girl today. You were willing to change your plans, and maybe I should be more like you. <laughs> That's not what sleeves are for. <gasps> Enemy! <laughs>
please. Santa! You guys! I'll check the surveillance system. Ah, it's the scouts! We know you're out here, Craig. We're here to take you in for violating park safety codes. Tell him, Tony. Chapter three. Glassware is strictly forbidden on park grounds. A broken or shattered, a composer. Grab it, Tony! Guys, I have a new plan, but I need some time. Diversions, on it. <sighs> Wherever they are, they can find them and soak them. <laughs> ah! Run! Ah! Please don't dunk on me! <laughs> hey! Get ah! back here! Crush him! That should do it! We gotta go! Come on! Come on, come on! You guys are coming with us! Recycle this for me, please! So, Jessica, you want to come to the creek tomorrow? Absolutely not. <sighs> Let's get that Danish. Don't Danishes have cheese? Yeah, I think so. Well, ain't nothing a microwave can't fix. Ooh, yeah. Let's go, 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 go! Look, our two hours are almost up. You guys take this stuff to the witches. I'll grab the charger and meet up with you there. I know just the place to get it. You sure? Yeah. This one's personal. Craig? Craig, you left the door open. Oh, I'll just do it myself. There it is. Pineapple 7 plus charger. Time to make the switch. Fools. Never gonna be a snow day. Craig! What are you doing with my charger? I, 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 I need to borrow it. Yeah, well, it looks like you're stealing it. Poorly. What were you gonna do? Take it without the cord? And what's that air freshener for? Your plan has holes, Craig. That's why you should be in school. I'll never go to school. Hey! Get back here! <laughs> Craig? Give it up! Craig! <laughs> you can't outrun me, Craig! Look! Just back off, Bernard! Whoa! Easy! I'm not wearing a coat, Craig! I'm trying to get a snow day! I'm doing this for us! How is stealing my charger gonna get us a snow day, you blockhead? It's magic, Bernard! You just gotta have hope! I can't, Craig. There is no hope for me. Not anymore. I used to be like you, you know. The second a snowflake would hit the ground, I would dream of a day free from school. A day of sled rides, snow forts, and hot cocoa for lunch. But whether it was the very real crisis of climate change or Herkelton's robust supply of salt trucks, the snow would always melt, and so would my dreams. Don't you get it? I'm trying to save you from that pain. <sighs> Bernard, I'm gonna make your dreams come true. Ah! Ah! Craig! You know what? This weird Danish is actually pretty good. You know what? This coffee tastes really bad. Watch yourself, Craig! Please, do your magic. Oh, <laughs> sure. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blackest ice and hail fall. Morning's frost and blowing squall. Give these kitties three some closure. Open the clouds and tell Harkleton freeze is over. <gasps> Craig, Craig, it's a snow day. Wow, I guess that worked. You know, this happens a lot. Do you think we might really be magic? Mm. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna take a nap. Snowing. I can't believe it! Snow day. Snow day. Snow day! <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing, it's snowing! No school! <laughs> I'm so happy! And 
so, Craig, Kelsey, and JP were heralded as the heroes of the snow day. The kids' persistence, determination, and ability to pick up breakfast for the witches had brought forth 10 feet of snow. Or maybe it was 10 inches. Who really knows? Happy snow day. Happy snow day to us all. So, be that the end of this tunnel? Yeah, I know. I said that about the last tunnel. But they're all kind of one tunnel, you know? Marco! Rollo! The queen! Full speed ahead! <laughs> what the? Bubbles? This must be runoff from a car wash. No, whatever! Hey, thanks, JP. Just being tall. Stick close together, guys. It's hard to see here. <laughs> Scuba? First boy? <laughs> 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 My shoes! We're trapped! The walls are too soapy to scale! Oh no! You! Why did you lead us here? You didn't know what you were talking about! Hey! He stepped up when someone had to! And look where that got us! At least he did something about it! Oh! Why didn't I use my map? Why didn't I just stop and think? I like being dirty. <gasps> I think I know how to get out of here. The sewer queen said these tunnels were built to drain water into the creek. There's a clogged up hole beneath us. I bet if we clear it out, we can drain ourselves back to the creek. Is that why we don't drink the creek water? You guys don't drink the creek water? I'm not following you anywhere. I messed up. I know. I thought we needed someone to step up and, and be a leader. But I wasn't thinking things through. That's why this time I'm not telling you to follow me. I'm asking you to help me, so we can get out of here and find your true queen. All right, wet footer. It's worth a try. Better than drowning in bubbles. JP! <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Did you want to turn with these? Yeah, I do. car off of her. Let's take our time and think yeah! things through. Oh, oh, my, my queen! queen. <clears throat> Thank you. Here, I think these belong to you. Our home is safe thanks to these brave souls. They solved the mystery of the Great Clog and saved me from certain peril. Pool cleaner, extend! For your bravery, I bestow upon you the highest honor. Water shoes! Thank you, and you, for rescuing me from the car. I give you the car! Finally, I've got a chariot. I know how lions work, so it's my turn! To you, I offer a firm handshake. My queen, what about me? I already gave you a flying disc. It represents your playfulness. Right, I had it in me all along. Whee! Where's JP? Right here. I don't know about you fellas, but all this queen saving has me famished. To the duck mart! <laughs> but really, you live 17 years underground, finally had to claw your way up, only to get trapped in a jar with you guys, who are also trapped. I guess life's the biggest joke of all. JP! No, the bug's just telling it like it is. We're never gonna get saved. Hey, Craig, you know I was doing the voice for the bug, right? Craig? Kelsey? Uh, other guy? Who is it? Jason the Junior Forest Scout? Thank you for saving us, even though you're a romp. Where's my ice cream? What? The note! It said there'd be ice cream for the first five rescuers. 
Oh yeah, I promised ice cream that we don't have. Uh, it's at my house. Whole dang freezer full. So uh, j just help us get out of here and I'll take you back to my house and- Are you crazy? I am not going any further unless you got ice cream. No ice, no dice. But you, you gotta help us. Isn't that part of your stupid Junior Forest Scout code? You lied to me. Scout's code is out the window. You're dealing with Jason's law now. <laughs> Jason? Is he being a rump? For tricking me into coming all the way out here, I'm taking this, and this, and this, and this. He's taking our stuff, and now he's gone. <sighs> you okay, Craig? That's it! This afternoon is officially ruined! Now we're just gonna have to wait in here until mankind rises up and finds a way to take back the Earth. Or our parents get home. At least we're here together. Yeah, underground, not having the awesome adventure I planned for us. Look, if I weren't down here, I'd probably just be reading a book in my room by myself. Yeah, and let's be honest, guys, I'd probably still be stuck in a hole. Craig, I know I seem like a classic lone wolf type, but every day I'm just counting down the minutes until I can come to the creek and see you guys. I don't care what we're doing, as long as we're together. Yeah, man, I feel bad for that bug. He did all that waiting and he doesn't get to hang out with his friends at all. Up there, they're probably like partying and chatting about how different they all look now that they're big bugs. Oh, hey, Gary, remember when you were the size of a grain of rice? And now look at you. The size of a prune goon. How's that job at the bug band going, by the way? Oh, it's going pretty good. They got good benefits. What he means is, we ain't mad at you. You guys are the best. <laughs> yeah, we are awesome. If a cicada can do it, then so can we. Come on, guys! This way! Onward! You look different. I have emerged from my cocoon. A butterfly warrior. Cool. Is that from last Halloween? Yeah. Time to set this big guy free. Oh, you're kind of cute. Go hang out with your friends, little buggy. Have fun, you freaks. You got the show for your granddad! Maybe this isn't what you planned, but it definitely qualifies as a bug adventure. Yeah. Let's take a pic. Everybody ready? Oh, I have a memory that's full of Bobby. My candy. Right through my fingertips. Every time I eat, it always slips. Drop this candy down into the dirt. When I want a sweet, I always get hurt. He never eats it. He's always face first on the ground. It's so upsetting. His life is such a letdown. but I don't really remember this. JP, do you even know how to play a sax? Uh, why are you asking, Kelsey? Because I've never played one before? Oh, maybe that didn't happen. 
No, I know we have memories of Bobby. Like, remember that time we hung out with us and, and we were trying to build that security system for the stump? That was your sister. Ah! Oh, hey, what about uh, the time when he was stuck underground with us in like a mason jar? That was a cicada! Oh, I know, remember when he challenged you on the four square court? No, that was big time, Bobby. Oh, yeah. We really don't have any memories of Bobby. He's gone, and we never really got to know him or spend any time with him. <laughs> I wish we could go back in the past so we could hang out with him and make some real memories. Come on, GP. You're gonna make Mortimer cry. Uh, I'd give him a piggyback ride at every candy store in the world if I could just hear his sweet voice again. <laughs> My candy. Is that? Yeah! It's a ghost! Unlucky for you, the runes on my sword allow me to cut right through ghost flesh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Kelsey, I think... I think it really is Bobby. Eh, my candy. Bobby, what happened? Well, I was walking, and I tripped. No, I mean we thought you moved. I did, down the street, to a new house. Now I don't have to share a room with the dog. You never left the creek. I guess now's our chance to make memories with him. Yeah! yeah. What do you say, Bobby? Want to hang out? Yeah, maybe play a game? Oh, um, okay. Do you want to play hide and seek? I love hide and seek. A classic. Okay, I'll be it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three <laughs> Mississippi. Help! Oh, help! There's trouble! Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Craig, what don't you understand about trouble? Mainly stuck in quick mud! <laughs> Again? Ugh. Quick mud? Ah! Maybe! We gotta go! But wait, what about. Duh! Bobby, you're a genius. This is the perfect hiding spot. They'll never find you. Mm. Cherry. Mm. Lemon. Mm. Eh, sour. Cherry is definitely my favorite. Whoops, my candy. Nope. Gotta stay hidden, Bobby, old boy. What was that? It felt like a fish. A big fish. Like a sleeping bag full with pudding. But it also had bones and skin and anger. Impossible. The ecosystem of the creek can't support a marine animal that ginormous. I felt what I felt. And it was slimy. Well, what you felt is scientifically impossible. The boy almost got eaten, Ren. I believe you, JP. Mortimer, too. No, Mortimer. Ren's right. There are no fish that big in the creek. I think this path to the ocean is bringing in more than salt water. It's bringing in a monster. And it eats kids for breakfast. <gasps> Do you know what this means? We're all going to be published! Who gives a hooey about salt levels? If we could get a picture of this monster, I could get my name in a scientific journal! Have fun at Space Camp, Carl! I'll be busy accepting science awards! Greg, you gotta help me get proof! I won't put my crew in danger. I'm not scared, and neither is Mortimer. JP? I want that rock candy, Craig! Hmm. <sighs> Stations! Full speed ahead! I don't think it's swimming to us. I think it's swimming at us! Battle stations! Launching depth charge! <laughs> Not a 
monster? You're just a kid. A merkin. <gasps> Those clothes. JP, toss me the shoe. <gasps> Is this why you were swimming around our raft? Were you looking for this? The shoe must have floated away when they shed their land legs. Sorry we scared you. How fascinating. Have you been putting salt water in the creek? Look, I know salt creates an authentic ocean experience, but it's dangerous to the creek system. Now come here so I can take a selfie! set for life. There! If you zoom in right there, you can see them. Well, you can see the rise, which counts as them. Huh? Huh? So correct, meaning a merkit. A lot cooler than a minnow, don't you think? Yeah. I'm just some... some kid. I can't make stuff like you, Granddad. Nah, Craig. There ain't a lick of truth in any of that. You will do a great job, I promise. You know why? Why? Because I trust you. <laughs> okay, for the french fries. For the french fries? Or are you a trip? And finished. Let it rip! Yes, sir. Is it, is it my fault, Granddad? I messed up, didn't I? I, I didn't mean to. I, I you had nothing to do with it, Craig. This one's on me. I forgot to consider the weight of the water. There was nothing to hold it in place. Now the tomatoes really are ketchup. We gotta figure out how to fix this. Uh, I gotta figure out how to fix this. This bike pump won't stay in place. I think it still looks good without the bike pump. I agree with this assessment. I appreciate the help, guys. I really do. But this piece is super important for my project. I have to figure this out. And fast, or I won't make it in time. Okay, Greg, think back to how you saved the french fries. What if we used Frankie? Maybe he can keep the hose from falling off. Are you sure, Greg? Frankie's your main man. A uh, bird, as it were. Yeah, we need to do it. For the french fries. Flex for the fries. All right. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Oh, 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 I think I pulled something. There, it's perfect. Is that toy really going to be strong enough to hold this thing together? It's a stretch, but it just might work. And I couldn't have done it without my pals by my side. Get ready for the formation. Great boy. Sparkle Cadet. Cannonball. The Ice Pop Trio. Paper. Wait, you never finished your story. Right. So, as I was saying... Oh, Nicole, she is just beautiful. And I love that name. Craig, would you like to hold your new baby sister, Jessica? Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm Craig. I'm your brother. Now, your sister's going to need help from Bernard and you, but I know you'll be there for her the way you were there for me. <laughs> we made it. Happy birthday, Jessica! Hey, you're right on time! Jessica, this is for you. Aw, thank you, Craigie. I'm gonna rip it open! Wow, a barbecue for me! Actually, it's a stool. A stool? A very special stool. Here, climb on. Now watch this. Whoa. Whoa! I noticed you were having some trouble reaching things around the house, so I built it for you. I love it! Thank you, Craigie. You're a great big brother. Now I can get cookies whenever I want! I shall rule the house with my little stool! Wow, that 
actually works. Nice work, middle bro. Thanks, big bro. Hey, brother builder, why don't we test how high that stool can really go? I couldn't have built it better myself. Thanks, granddad. It's taken a turn for the worst. Some kids just started filling garbage bags with water. Oh, Craig, if I don't make it out of here. No, no, don't say it, JP. I gotta tell you, man, Bernard is a really great dresser. No, no, he's not. Hang on, guys, here it come. Dang, stairs are so slippery. I'm gonna get the hose and run it down to the creek. Easy, easy. Craig! Craig, we need the hose! Whoa, the dang stairs are so slippery. Craig, I told you to wash the grill. I thought we agreed. No more hose mummies. Okay, no, no. Okay, you know what, Craig? We have to go! Ah, uh, it's constricting around my body! You should have thought of that, boy! Look who just happened to be in the neighborhood. I brought potato salad. <laughs> what are we laughing at? I'm just thinking of all the things I'm going to put on your tombstone. <laughs> all right, no more tiptoeing around. What's been going on? Ever since you started that new math group, you've been so distracted. Distracted? You almost burned the house down. You struggling in math? Here, I'll help. We lost one, two, three, four, five stakes. Also, you almost burned the house down. You got house money, Craig. I bet the creek don't have house money. I what your father's trying to say is, the point of tonight was to check in with you kids. Just tell me what's going on with you. Well, there's this huge water balloon fight in the creek. Tony Mozafari showed up out of nowhere and started making trouble. He's always doing stuff like that. So the ninja kids retaliate and Kelsey filled her sword with water and oh, poor JP. And I just wanted to be there. I wanted to be there to help my friends. I'm good at helping my friends. But I was taking so long on my math because this new math is really hard. I'm glad I'm in this class, but it's just harder and I'm not used to it. Hey, hey. Sounds like you got a lot going on. Math is tough, and the math you've got is even tougher. That's the challenge of being smart. But you know, the things you miss out on help you appreciate the things you're able to see. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, mm-hmm. Your dad and I, we miss out on a lot of things watching you kids grow up. You got your girlfriends, their potato salads, your water balloon fights, your Tony Maw safaris. Your hair's pretty. I know. And I make the table. Yes, you do. We just want to know what's going on sometimes. You're a busy guy, and we miss you. That's all. OK. Well, I'm not going to let steak night go to waste. I'm going to order a steak pizza. It'll take about 45 minutes. You think that's enough time to save your friends? 45 minutes is perfect. That's just one I really didn't want to miss. Now go soak them suckers. <sighs> I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Huh? Hi, Craig. What are you guys doing here? Have I failed you? Nah, someone put soda on the water balloons. A weak, cowardly, delicious mistake. So we left. Yeah, now we're all sticky. Oh, and also we keep getting followed by bees. Bees? Then why the heck did you come here? I don't want bees to know where I live. Wow, you guys look sticky. If you're feeling hungry, you're welcome to stick around. <laughs> oh, oh, my. oh, wow. Oh, that's a good one. I really like that JP. You know, I almost burned down my grandma's house once. Move your elbows, I'm still licking the table. You're not actually throwing a party, David. It's Jerry. Hey, gang, thanks for the invitation. I just got back from bird watching camp. Sorry, I didn't have time to bring a gift, but I brought two birthday hats. I'm really excited about that cake, yo. Oh, <laughs> the only cake you'll have is a pound cake, because our night here is gonna pound you into dough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't look so Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, this third grader's gonna take back my sword for me. You mean this one? <gasps> You can have it back when you pay me back for those movie tickets I bought you. 
We did pay you back, you blockhead. No, you paid me back for one of them, and you didn't include the online purchase service fee. Hey, you decided to buy them online. That service fee is on you. Now go, kick his little baby buns. Uh, drop that sword. Mm. Or, uh, I'll do it myself. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> We got the best seats. Creek rules. First to lose their weapon, loses. Kelsey froze, trying to see a path to victory. How could she face a sword four times her size? She was going to fail. Why isn't she moving? What's going on with her? I can watch. Ah! Hot diggity dog. British accent. Kelsey thought. Kelsey thought. Kelsey thought. Kelsey thought. Kelsey thought. Why isn't she moving? She's narrating. Oh, I don't know. She usually moves around a lot when she's narrating. You're doing this and that. She must be stuck. Stuck in her own head. No hard feelings, self sword. The great warrior Kelsey looked at her friends. She suddenly realized this wasn't to be the end of a tale. For she had prepared long and hard for this. Till her six pack. Bulge out! Okay, I can do British. Hey, Greek rules! The only weapons allowed are swords, not words! Her opponent might have a really big sword, but Kelsey had the heart of a thousand warriors. She had the guts to stand up for justice and do what she did best. Fight! Hey! Can you keep it down? It's distracting. Hey, bird watcher, you missed this bird! Kelsey's emotional conflict resolved. There was nothing left but physical violence! <gasps> the sword broke! So it did. Oh, well, it was a little big for me anyway. That was amazing, Kelsey. Let's do the victory dance! Kelsey be Jerry! Kelsey be Jerry! Kelsey looked on as her squires celebrated her triumph. Well, Night Girl, it seems you've completely destroyed my sword. My sincerest apologies. Perhaps I can take on another quest. I will bring you a blacksmith to mend your sword. Dead or alive! I'm kind of scared of this kid. No, young paladin, that won't be necessary. You've already proven your mettle today. We might not have our sword back, but what really matters is that Jerry doesn't have it. Now, who wants cake to celebrate the victory? Hey, where's the cake? <laughs> you made it. I biffed it, but now I don't have to sniff it. Uh, Craig, after extensive research and rifling through everyone's pockets, my colleague and I feel we found an effective solution to the noxious odor that's polluted the creek's air. Allow us to present to you... The Fragrance Grenade! Two reduced sticks of cherry lip gloss, perfume from that one girl whose mom lets her wear real makeup, all housed in a vanilla-scented latex balloon and fortified by a barrier of four sheets of scratch-and-sniff stickers. We just have to find a way to launch this into the center of the stink. Pitch it to me. I'll slam dunk it. You're getting better. Let me try. My parents made me play softball in second grade. Sports, let's see what you got. Oh, I finally got out of that tree. Oh, butterscotch. Ah! It smells even worse! Ah! Our creek. It's all ruined. And it's all my fault. No, it's mine. I added an extra ingredient to your bug solution. You did what? I didn't want your experiment to be a failure. You deal mostly in relativistic quantum mechanics. Biochemistry isn't exactly your chosen field. I was worried you'd be out of your league, and I didn't want you to embarrass yourself. Aww. Well, you sure messed that up! Bernard? Bernard, tell Craig... Uh, Kelsey, it's, it's, it's Craig. Bernard, listen to me! Tell Craig the 
flowers in our masks have wilted. I think this might be the end of our nasal passages. I think JP just barfed. But worst of all, Eliza and George are really annoying. How dare you? Jessica, tell Kurt to hurry. Ah! We gotta stop the stink now! So if none of this was my fault, then my science can still save us! Kit, what sort of supplies do you got? We don't need to overpower the stench. We need to neutralize it! Aha! Baking soda! Of course! Baking soda absorbs odor! That must be Kit's winky wink. The acid from the salt and vinegar chip should do the trick. There! Uh -huh. I'm coming too. We're an alliance after all. Mortimer! Save yourself! No, Mortimer, take me. Fly me to safety instead. I commanded you! <laughs> Smell you later! Smell! <sighs> Where did the bush go? Wait. Ren, it worked! The stink has been vanquished! Huh? Holy Hawking, you did it! Oh, you're a genius! Ren, I, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. You can say it. I was right! I was right! I was right! <gasps> Bobby! My candy. Hey, Kit. Three sandwiches for the heroes of the creek. One box of chocolate rolls. A whole box? That's like the opposite of a hero discount. Hero or villain, trade prices are gonna be higher until I can trade my way to a new cool. Fries, fries. I only got enough for an open face sandwich. <laughs> well, can't breeze through my nose once again, but it looks delicious. I guess things really are back to normal. <laughs> and then we'll transfer your neurons into the brain of someone who's good at softball. <laughs> yeah. Cat got your tongue? <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just being Toma. <laughs> Some things never change, for better or for worse. Hear ye, hear ye. The king wants to play. Hey, hey, hey friends! Wow, wow, look at this place. I was at a place like this on my side. Oh, wait, I do. It's all my side now. Hey, king! Wanna play horse? You want to play with... All right! <laughs> yes! Cool, I'll go first. Uh... <gasps> <laughs> yeah! Your turn! Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was bad! A.K.A. Terrible! A.K.A. Subpar! A.K.A. No! I hereby declare a horse banned from the creek! Man, you can't ban a game just because you're bad at it. Actually, I can ban whatever I want. Or do none of you want free candy? Man, whatever. I don't need your candy. I'll just go to the... The trading tree? <laughs> Did you forget? I'm the one with the candy. If you want any, you gotta go through me. I... Uh... Take care of him. Huh? Oh, man. A.K.A. Hmm. <gasps> Enough of this, Xavier. No amount of candy is worth you coming here and bossing everyone around. So take your snacks and your rude attitude and leave. Nuh-uh. Somebody my size. <clears throat> I'll deal with this one. Maya. That's right. Now, do we have a problem here, little girl? <laughs> <laughs> with this, Xavier. <laughs> yes, I will. I knew you would try to oppose me just like Omar did, so I had a contingency plan. What are you doing? Calling your mom. <gasps> Why? How'd you even get her number? I got it from your little friend. 
Hey, don't look at me. Okay, Craig, I know why we're looking at me because we've, we've eliminated Kelsey and I'm your other friend, but I just feel like it's a stretch that I would be the little friend, you know? I'm, I'm heads above you guys, right? Also, I didn't do it. I'm sorry, Craig. It was me. He said it was to keep you safe in case something bad happened to you. Bobby, no. <clears throat> Uh, hello? Is this Craig's mom? Well, I was playing at the creek, and your son, he, he, he pushed me! <laughs> you lied. But why would you do that? I never touched you. You got off lucky. I could have messed with your report card like I did with your friend, Kit. <gasps> this is my creek now. Looks like your mom's calling. Better see what she wants. Mom, listen, I... Mom! No, what? Now? But I didn't even... But Mom, the dinner horn hasn't even... Yes, yes, ma'am. Bye. Farewell! <laughs> so long! <laughs> Craig, where, where are you going? Home. I, I think... I think I'm grounded. Look! There it is! Tony Mozafari's five-star treehouse. Wait, oh, that's small uncle. That means Jessica's in there. Ah, Jessica, Jessica! Oh. Oh, David, he was such a young elder. Hmm. Hey, I know, I've got some riddles to pass the time. <laughs> Jessica, where are you? <sighs> Jessica! <gasps> Jessica! Boris, what are you doing with a small uncle? This is not small uncle, this is big uncle. Because I am Boris, a big boy. What? Ah, this is my candy. You gotta share the rations, buddy. Kids are hungry. <laughs> ah. Five seconds! <laughs> What are we gonna do? Hey, wait a second. If we're on lava, shouldn't try wood like this be burning? Ah! Why did you have to notice that, Kelsey? Like Mortimer, I shall go down with my ship in flames and glory. Ah! This is it. And the last thing I ever said to Jessica was that she was bad at character design. I still don't know what that is. <gasps> Jessica! Hmm. Jessica, stop right there. If you step on the ground, you'll burn. Ah! But how? I told you earlier, I'm not playing. She's not playing. <laughs> that means she can walk anywhere she wants. <laughs> Jessica, can you make a path so we can jump to safety? <laughs> I tried to help you with your drawing before, and you didn't want it. Why should I help you now? I'm sorry, Jessica. Tall Paul can have a million arms and sunglasses. All that matters is that he's tall, because that's his name. Your drawing was fine. I was just being picky. Apology accepted, I guess. Huh? Craig, lava, fire. Ah, sorry. Fine. What can I use? Small uncle, I would never. I can use blocks. Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> there. <gasps> Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> Can't believe Tomon. Calling the ground is lava? Such a brutal game. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fun playing it. Jessica, if you're playing, you're gonna... Craig, I'm burning. No! I'll save you! AKA playtime's over. AKA it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, you had fun, right? <laughs> yeah, you had fun. Wow, that was a close one. Oh, you all found Jessica. JP, how was your lava sleep? Nice and relaxing. I took a dirt nap and then just laid around and braided grass to pass the time. I made fashion. <laughs> Ooh, la la. Great, now I'm bald again. 
Today turned out to be really fun. Except for the part where it started to burn. Can we do more chalk drawings tomorrow? Of course. And you can draw whatever you want. And that could be all, just like I drew it. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. Okay, well, I'd, I'd imagine catching a werewolf with dietary restrictions is much like catching any other vermin. With a trap! Oh. Granddad, are you okay? <laughs> Get Grandma. Earl, you gotta be careful not to overexert yourself. You know, if I had to choose between you and the corn, I'd choose you. Well, of course you would, because I come with the corn. We're a package deal. <sighs> I just don't like being idle, doing all this sitting around, and I can't figure out what's happening out there. Well, maybe you can help me figure out where all this man's hair went. I sure did have nice hair. Looks like Granddad's out of commission. There's a monster in those woods. I know it. I gotta stop it before it destroys the rest of the garden and everything Granddad holds dear. <laughs> Me and my dad watched this movie where they turned the Empire State Building into a missile and shot it at a monster. You thinking of doing something like that? I'm just using glue for now. I'm hoping that's enough. This garden means a lot to my granddad, but if it comes down to fighting a monster, I will. <sighs> I wish I was there. Huh? The monster! Be careful! Bring something to stab with! Have fun fighting for your life! Huh? Gone! Grammy! Well, I'd consider yourself lucky. If it had been epoxy glue on that paper, you'd be dressing like a mummy every Halloween for the rest of your life. Not to mention every other day of the year. I know. Ow! Jessica! You wanna walk around all day looking silly? Well, I don't know if it's safe to be playing with traps in the first place. It, it would've, would've worked. worked! If he hadn't rushed out there, I'm just saying. You Williams boys are always in a rush. You need to be patient. Right. No more tricks, no more traps. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the monster. And maybe have a cookie. Ugh, Bernard. <gasps> Who's there? How did you get in here? Wait! Don't go! Slow down, Speedy! What? There's a hole on the fence. That's how you've been getting in and out. Hey, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. make a call to the City Bureau of Fence Services and have them come down and check if there are any more holes that need to be patched. That City Councilwoman Grandma Williams. Thanks for solving the mystery, Greg. Whoa, now the deer goddess owes you one. I'll have to call it in on my next adventure at my grandparents' house. Bye-bye now. Bye. All right, we miss you. Ah, they're so cold. I need to find my gloves. If I get those on, I'll be in tip-top sheet. There! Finally, I found you! Twenty-six percent? It's not warm enough. I need my hat! Oh no, did I drop it? It's my mom. Mom? Or where are 
are you? Don't worry. I'm on my way, Mom. See you in a minute. Where the heck is my hat? Oh, no. Did someone take it? So cold. My hat. My precious hat. Thank you for keeping it safe for me, Creaky. Now I can finally be warm. No, Craig of the Creek! If you remove his hat, Creaky the Creek Man will no longer be powered by its magic, and he will cease to exist! Roger, if I don't get my hat back, I'm gonna cease to exist. Hee hee hee! Oh, wait, that's bad. Who do I save? Who do I save? Craig? Creaky! Craig? Creaky! Uh, now this is a riddle! <laughs> Mama, you were right. I really did need a hat. Where am I? Did I? Am I? Cold? Mm-hmm. Come sit by me, sweetheart. You got something to tell me? You were right. What you say now, Craig? I can't hear you over this hot tea. Mm. I said you were right. I did need a coat. And gloves. And a hat. You knew how cold it was going to be. But I didn't listen. Oh, now, Craig, when I'm sharing advice, it's not because I love telling you what to do. Because I do. It's because I'm trying to share something I experienced, so hopefully you don't have to. But sometimes, <sniffs> you have to find out for yourself. Yeah. I definitely learned my lesson. When mom says it'll be cold out, put on your winter gear. Too bad I didn't learn that before becoming an ice pop. Mm-hmm. Looks like your friend is giving you another chance to learn your lesson. Huh? Oh! <gasps> my hat! <sighs> huh? Roger? Mmm! Hey, um, thanks for giving me my hat back. Even though you had to sacrifice your creek, man. No worries. It seems like you needed the hat more. You know, considering you like lost consciousness for a period of about five to ten minutes. Uh, Besides, the operation was a success. Operation? Yes. Creaky and I are now one. Talk about a captive audience, eh? Mm -hmm. ah! uh, phew. Well, glad you could join us for dinner. Oh. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I will never question your vast knowledge of weather patterns and what I should wear ever again. Okay, whatever. Just glad you were bundled up. If you don't go out there dressed right, you could catch a cold. Now come on before your chili with an I becomes a chili with a Y. Achoo! You took that hat off. <laughs> catch them. Got it. I'll just launch over this cliff. <sighs> we're too late. Lay off the case, and maybe the 10 speeds will see their bikes again. Ugh. We got nothing! Mackenzie couldn't have stolen the bike because of her hooves, and Scooter Girl couldn't have done it either because the hater was hating while we had her in custody. Craig, I, I think this case might be bigger than us. We might have to pass this up the ranks to the PTA. The kid is right. This kind of detective work is way above my play grade. I hate to say it, but I think it's over. There are four bikes out there, cold and alone, with no butts to warm their seats. We can't just give up! Craig, why do you care so much about this case? <sighs> I never told you guys, but a few years ago, I had a bike. My dad and I found it at a garage sale. We fixed it up like new, put cool lights on the spokes, we even had a water bottle holder. It was perfect. But one day, I left it out in the front yard while I went to get a snack. And when I came back, it was stolen. I thought that maybe if I found the person who stole the 10 speeds bikes, I'd somehow find my old bike. I can't believe you've been carrying that inside for so long. <laughs> but Craig, even if we find the kid who stole the 10 speeds bikes, they're probably not the same kid who stole your bike. I hate to say it, but there's probably more than one bike thief out there. More than one bike thief? That's it! JV, call the scouts. I think I just cracked this case. 
This is Golden Eagle to Map Boy. They're here. That's her. That's Shredderella, all right. Sweet! I can ride again! I feel unbridled joy. But how'd you find our bikes, Craig? Well, it was easy once I identified my suspect. Or should I say, suspects, with an S. Mackenzie was mad that the 10 speeds ruined her horse thingy, so she wanted to get back at them. There was just one problem, her hooves. So she hired a fellow hater to do her dirty work, someone she knew from the internet, Scooter Girl. Mackenzie tried to throw us off the scent with that live video. She fooled us with that voice, but only a horse would be that clumsy with the phone. Because as you've pointed out, horses don't have fingers. <gasps> Wait, Mackenzie, Mackenzie, is it true? Craig's right, but can you blame me? They scheduled their stupid bike thing at the same time as our fun horse thing! But I just wanted to let the air out of their tires, you know, maybe trample the seats a bit. It was Scooter Girl's idea to hide the bikes! Yeah, it was me, and I'd do it again, too! <laughs> School out! Now that we've got our culprits, it's time to dispense some justice. Mackenzie the horse, Scooter Kid, you know what you've got to do. I'm sorry. Sorry. Say it like you mean it! No! Say it! Never! Say it! I'm sorry. All right, we're done here, boys. Hey, um, we never meant to steal anyone's thunder. I mean, if you guys wanted to, we could totally do the show together. That could be nice, maybe. If you don't get in our way. I'm out of here! Ow! Okay, so maybe horse, bike, horse, bike, bike, horse? Craig, we're up! You solved the case. Why so glum? You were right. My bike wasn't there. Some other kid must have taken it. Well, you didn't get your bike back, but you got somebody else's bike back. You did good, kid. <sighs> yeah. Hey, how about a chocolate roll? On me. That sounds delicious. It can be liberating to just let go. You think explorers aren't afraid of unknown dangers? Sure they are, but they venture forth into the unknown anyways. Because knowing the unknown is what life is all about. You just gotta follow your guts. Hmm. Someone's got mail. Looks like a letter from Aunt Tina. Probably a belated birthday card. <gasps> $20! Thank you, Aunt Tina. You are once again my favorite. Oh, generous. What are you gonna get? You got a lot of options with that much. Come on, Craig. You can do this. Which one do you want? <sighs> Is something wrong, my pup? No, I, I mean, I knew we'd choose one of these. As humans, we walk dogs. But as Fredites, we find comfort when Fred walks us. The deciding is done for today. We must let Fred rest. Craig, trust in Fred. Get the binoculars. Trust in Fred. <gasps> the new Rhino Racer action figures! Rhinoceros? Rhino Chris? <gasps> Rhinelope? They never have her! <laughs> Nobody in the grasslands is faster than me. Oh, this is kind of bittersweet considering that she dies in the movie. <sighs> I'm so glad I found you, Rhinelope. And I have you to thank, Gut. He's gone. Fred's gone. You were the last person to sit with him, Craig. Do you know what happened? No, after the dinner horn, I went straight to the mall. To get binoculars? <gasps> well, uh... You! You were supposed to buy binoculars. You defied our leader. Fred forsook us all for your disobedience. You are not a good boy. I'm sorry, I just wanted to- Silence! Hand over the doll! Nobody touches the rhino! This is not your fight, blasphemer! You gotta get out of here and go find Fred! Right, you're the coolest, Kelsey! <laughs> Fred! Fred? Are you, are you there, boy? Fred! Uh, Fred, you here, boy? <gasps> <laughs> Are, are you okay? No, look at me. I'm sad and very vulnerable right now. Mister, are you crying because something happened to Fred? What? No! I'm crying because my girlfriend just walked out on me. She kept asking me to move out to the city with her, but I took too long trying to decide whether to go. 
You just left in the van with a dog and everything. What? Fred was in that moving van? Maybe I should call her to see if she'd come back, but I don't know. Is that too desperate? Ugh, this is exactly why she left me. I can't make any decisions. I know exactly how you feel. I recently had to decide which toy to buy with some birthday money. You just gotta go with your gut. You're right. I'm gonna get her back. Hello? Just do it, man! Stacy, will you marry me? <laughs> Stacy, you stopped. So is this a yes? Give me your phone. I'm deleting me off your contacts. <gasps> Fred! Why are you leaving us, boy? If you're not here, who will we heal to? Who will make our decisions? I think what Fred is trying to say is that we all should make our own decisions. No! Fred is saying that I'm the new leader of the Fredites. All shall hail to me! <laughs> new world order! New world order! Oh. You know, guys, I think I'm gonna stop hanging out with the Fredites. Excellent decision, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I feel really unsafe here. We need to bounce. Yeah, for sure.